Das Leben kann ja so erfreulich und wunderbar sein. Wir müssen es nur wieder zu leben lernen. Okay, there we go. Music is good. Oh. Music is loud. Hello. Aha. Microphone could be louder, I think, but it's probably good. Yeah. Awesome. Still need to set up some things. I can put my face right in here right now. I can do this. There we go, that works. And yeah, let's let me set up everything so that we can start working on the game. Tom's adventure. It's gonna be fun. Who of you guys is watching the uh, NASA stream or has what has been watching the NASA stream? I think they're like, right now they're launching like a spaceship with SpaceX or something. So, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. I wasn't so sure if I should keep going with this stream if, if SpaceX, if NASA is doing their SpaceX thing. But we'll have to see, guys, we'll have to see. Aha, 7IO is here, so he's not watching the NASA stream. <laughs> I can't imagine, yeah, it's like, it's SpaceX, they're doing the thing. I can imagine that a lot of people are watching this right now. Pretty exciting stuff, I guess. So, um, for anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about. Um, let me get rid of this, there you go. Yeah, oh, there's actual comments here, alright. Yeah, so apparently I just tuned in like a few minutes ago, just checked it out. And apparently there's like... Just, they're just gonna put some space spacemen. There they are. They're gonna put them in a, in a rocket. They're gonna fly to space. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool stuff if you think about it, like... You don't know if they're gonna make it or not, or like, I mean, they probably will be, but like, you know, still kind of a risky thing, right? 
and they, they drive in the Teslas, of course. There they go, taking some wonky pictures. To see the top of the crew dragon just taken in the sight. Yeah, um... <laughs> they seem to be enjoying themselves though, so that's good, that's good. Look at those guys. Damn. They're going to space! Yeah. Alright, pretty unfortunate timing with my stream, I guess, but I did wanna, I did wanna, like, you know, put, put the stream in here right now. Just, um, just so, you know, I can have time tomorrow to do other stuff because I've got quite a bit of, quite a bit of stuff coming up. So I did wanna just have an earlier stream today. So, yeah. In celebration of today's launch, we should make the bike fly. I agree, we should make something that relates to this launch today. I think that's a really good idea. Let's do that. That's That sounds like a fun stream for today. Um, where do we go? Hold on. Um, need to get the project up. You know, in here. And, um... Yeah, I think that's a great idea. So let's let's start collect, let's start brainstorming, guys. What what can we do about the SpaceX la SpaceX launch? We could put a rocket in the game, and you drive there with the kabike, and then maybe the kabike becomes part of the rocket or something. I don't know. Um, it's uh, we're gonna have to think about this, guys. Let's see what we can come up with here. Um, I did want to have a, a stream where I kind of pol polish everything up a little bit more and get rid of some of the bugs and stuff that we're currently having. But also somebody mentioned on Blender Artist that um, they're going to push a change soon, which should get rid of some of the bugs. So that, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty nice if they do that. But yeah, until then, until then, we're gonna be either doing like refinements and stuff, making sure the movement is like really nice, because some of the camera turning is just a bit wonky right now. Some of the animations are super wonky, so there's a lot of stuff to clean up and polish here to just make it feel better. The jump is already kind of nice. Um, I like it, but yeah. Um, Let's see here. We could also make the ca bike, you know, we could make the cat actually have an idle state. Because the driving of the bike is pretty decent right now. It even turns the wheels and shit like that. It's quite nice. You can do the wheelie. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good fun. Actually, it doesn't really seem to be glitching as much anymore. I didn't change anything since last stream. So, yeah. Hmm. Hello there, Karen Dames. How's it going? Uh, teleport to a different planet through a portal. Ooh, okay, that sounds exciting. Um, over rocket? Yeah, I think a rocket would be cool. <laughs> you could turn the bike into a rocket, I guess. We need to have something in there that reflects the SpaceX launch. Uh, not sure if we really want to make it that you can fly around and stuff. What if we just make it so there's a place in the level? Because I did want to do more level design for this. So what if we started making a level and then we put a big like SpaceX rocket somewhere in the distance and you could like drive to it with the bike and then once you get there, you know, maybe you can get on the rocket or something like that. That might be a bit ambitious for one stream, but you know, um, that could be a possibility. What do you guys think? Okay, yeah, what, what am I getting here? Um, first thing on the to-do list, bigger wheels. What do you mean, bigger wheels? <laughs> they look like Walmart car tra carts, trolleys. Really? But how are we gonna fit more wheels in there? You guys gotta keep in mind that, you know, this is a chonk machine. It's a chonk machine, guys. There's no space for wheels. <laughs> Hey, you're starting to learn English? Nice. And you'll study with my streams? That's really cool, man. Where are you from? Uh, oh, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that name. G, G, uh, G, G, man. I'm gonna call you G, G, man. <laughs> yeah. Ukraine. Alright, that's cool, man. Yeah, keep practicing that English. It's very helpful if you wanna do, like, international stuff. I guess yeah that's what I'm gonna say to that let me quickly 
Let me quickly scan my face down a little bit so it's not as huge and in your face anymore. Haha, <laughs> in your face. And then we should get started. A lot of cube light. What do you mean? You mean this? This is pretty cool, cube lights. Um, yeah, so. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the NASA stream on my second screen as well as, as uh, your guys' comments and stuff so that I can keep track of what's going on and if I see anything cool or if you guys see anything cool then definitely give a like shout it out and then we're gonna have a look at their at their like stream the SpaceX stream and we're going to you we're going to see what we can use as inspiration for this I think it would be fine and cool if the wheels were bigger. Oh no, now I also gotta check Discord. Alright, um, yes, yeah, so here's the Discord. Everyone join the Discord. What's this? Memes. Yes, we have the best memes in our Discord. Anyways, let's see what this man sent me here. Uh huh. That's pretty cool. I like that look. It looks like Tron. Looks a lot like a Tron bike. You mean this or do you mean this? What? What? <laughs> I'm confused, GG man. Mm. Right, okay. So this this would make the bike look cool, but do we want the bike to look cool or do we just want it to be chonk? Um, that's the real question here, guys. I guess what we could do is we could do a redesign of it later, but right now I don't wanna don't wanna get too caught up with stuff like <laughs> Yes, look at this tiny Tom. <laughs> what the fuck? That wasn't even intentional, but yes, tiny Tom is tiny Tom should be absolutely a thing in this game. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't really do collisions. He doesn't really wanna do that. He's too tiny for collisions. Yeah, absolutely, he's too tiny for them. <laughs> what happens if I go chonk on chonk? Ah, th oh, there we go, we're back. Back to normal size. And there's bike again. Yes. What I, okay, what we're gonna start with, I know what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start adding some sound effects, guys. Because, again, this man, the legend, um, uh, what's his name? It's like Peter. Peter, the man, the legend, has been sending us some sound effects. I actually already downloaded those. What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, so, we should have some sound effects in here. Ah, uh, yes, there they are. So he made some kabike sound effects. So we're gonna get those in there. We're gonna get them in the game. Mm. Maybe you need to search for something in the rocket or defuse it like a bomb. Defuse the rocket? What a, what a crazy idea. <laughs> we'll really have to think about how we're gonna get all these crazy ideas into like a coherent uh, story and game game level idea as well. Um, so again, for those of you that already know how this works, you can go to, um, wait, support, the what am I, what am I sending you to when I say the Streamlabs thing? What is that? All oh, right, yeah, yeah, cool. Um, so, as usual, you can just put your ideas in the document, and I will check it every once in a while and see what the new things are in here, the new suggestions. Uh, we still have a lot of things to do, especially the burgers aren't really doing anything yet, so that's something we need to do as well. But yeah, um, there's more more content to make. This one's probably really gonna be about like polishing things though. So let's have a listen at these sound effects. Sound effects? There we are. It's very quiet. Yes, listen to that. Yeah. I don't know if it's loopable completely yet. It doesn't seem loopable. I love this one. 
is great. That's really cool. We're gonna do what well, we're gonna do. I have Audacity open right here. We're going to have a look. We're just gonna get both of these sound effects into Audacity. And we're going to check and they do seem loopable. So that's great. Okay, that was just my player. Um, in that case, we can go ahead and pretty much um, put some sound effects in here. Now, I don't know what the best way of doing this is. So as usual, as per usual, we're just going to figure things out as we go here. And let's get the music back. And I think also I'm hearing the sound of my own stream. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want any of the sound. Cool, 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 cool. How loud is the music? Ah, oh, it's a bit loud. There we go. That should be better, guys. Cool. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Hey there, Indian bro. How are you doing? Um, maybe he needs a girl. Then it's a story. A car ride with he car, he, he rides with her on the bike. Yes, a girl with, on the back and he's like riding and they both ride together on the bike. That would be sick. I think making the cat fly but limiting the altitude it can go by a go to by a lot would make sense. All right. <laughs> but you agree polish the things you have yeah before starting the feature group. Yeah, exactly. For now, we need to really polish things, then we can w worry about doing like AI uh, stuff for like a, 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 um, a girlfriend or other NPCs or stuff like that. Because I agree it would be really fun. Um, I do want to have a dialogue system in there at some point and stuff like that. This is going to be a long series, guys, so I hope you're, you're as excited as I am about this all and you're going to stick around while we make this game. Um, I'm also gonna work on making like a, a YouTube video about it, like a devlog, where I'm just gonna basically just, um, maybe in that case I should disable the music, but that's yeah, fine. I'm going to basically talk about what we're doing in the stream and stuff like that and show the show what we've done and put it into like a shorter video format. So that should be quite, quite cool. Right, so let's actually do this. Since we got two states for the bike, and since there's this is our main bike state, this is going to be perfect for us to uh, put our put our sound effects on it on on our bike. So in the second state, we're just going to play um, a sound, and now I just gotta find the right trigger for it to basically play it. Uh, state equals idle, so state equals bike. That should be the one, and then we want to check. Um, we want to check one of these, for example. That one's great. Um, yeah, so this one should be fine to play the sound effect because this one's just just the bike. There's nothing else linked to it, so that's perfect. Right, so we're gonna open up the sound effects. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna do the per loop one, I think. Uh, we're gonna say loop stop. And we need to get more sound effects in this game because sound is actually very important for games. Um, it does help a lot if you have sound effects in your game because they're like 50% of the actual experience. So people usually don't really keep that in mind, but yeah, it is quite a big part of it. Um, you can find a document in the description of the stream. Um, so you can just open it up, uh, the description of the stream should have the link to it and you can just write your ideas in there. Um, bye from Italy? Did you mean to say hi or are you just leaving? <laughs> um, that's cool. Uh, hi, hi Rebel. Um, Nat Gazer, I am from Germany. I am from Germany, man. Um, you're from Portugal? That's cool. I think I remember seeing you somewhere in the... Uh, in the chat was it on Yannick's stream or something you might remember you from there you can't find the document um, in the description it should say um, it should say add your ideas here and I will review them next stream and then it gives you a bit bit why bit lie link yeah you're blind <laughs> pretty much so yeah that should give you that should give you the stream link uh, the link to the document so 
you can get all your crazy ideas in there again, as usual. Huh. Yeah, the idea changed pretty, pretty drastically uh, in the in uh, BGE, man. Uh, <laughs> It, but I like, I think the way it, it, it's going right now is kind of interesting so that we're actually like making a game together, you know, instead of me just, you know, remaking my old game. I think it's quite a cool idea. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. So, when I say if we press W or if we press S, then I play the kabike sound, I'd say. Maybe for backwards we want a different pitch. I don't know. Where do we get the document? You still haven't found it? Um, I can post a link in the chat as well. But yeah, it should be in the description. But here you go, guys. Maybe you can't see the description. I don't know. But you should be able to. You Normally you are able to send. Can somebody... Okay, I see there's already two people in there. So that's great. Yeah, now it's three. Cool, guys. Cool. Is beside next stream. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I don't know, guys. I thought it. I thought I said I had it set up completely. You know. Okay. The sound is very quiet. We gotta. We gotta turn it up. Turn down the music a lot. There we go. And I gotta also turn the audio up here. Cool. Now the music is super quiet, but let's see. There you go, you can actually hear it now. <laughs> That's great. Ah, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> we of course we need like uh, sound effect, like having the sound get louder and and uh, pitch up as soon as we, depending on the speed that we have. But I don't really know how to do that. I've never done that before, so I'm gonna ask some people off stream. I'm gonna ask them how they did it in their RPG games, and then um, and then we're gonna get that in in there but for now this works quite well yeah it's great the sound is really cool it sounds like a purring cat but also a motorbike at the same time it's so fun it's so cool to like just drive around with it yeah okay so i think we should do we should okay we're gonna keep it like this with the sounds for now and i think the next thing we should focus on is let's see let's see maybe make a small level for it maybe polish some things i think the cat needs some sort of behavior when it's just like when it's just not the bike you know it's a shame i haven't watched akira yeah man um big shame i <laughs> i didn't really have time to watch anything like that unfortunately also it looks like the launch is getting ready look at that guys look at that they're like in their seats and stuff but knowing, like, I'm imagining how things go, there it's, it's gonna take like at least another half hour or something before they actually get the green light to go. Who knows though, who knows? Two hours and 30 minutes, is that how long it's gonna take until they go? Wow, really? Hmm. <laughs> Man. All right, let's have a look at the document here. Hi, Peter. Thanks for joining. We're using your music now. We're using your sound effects now for the for the cat, which is great. Transforming the wheels into mm -hmm. thrusters. Oof. Damn, it's going to get complicated. Smoke tr like particle coming out of its tail. Yeah. Yeah, we actually tried that last stream. We had some particles that we tried. The reason we didn't end up doing them anymore was that they're just they're just very very intense for the performance. They just drowned the performance of the game. So I can show you guys if I just 
turn on the particles again. Yeah, okay, now, now they don't even spawn. Um, oh, right, yeah, they should be spawning now. Let's see? I thought I had them to spawn, but... Yeah. Oh, right, so they gotta be... They gotta be here, and then they gotta be invisible like this. That way it should work now. Hope ah! Yeah, there they are. Oh no. But as you can see, the performance is really not great. Also, I mean, they obviously they shouldn't spawn right now, but oh no. Getting back with the glitches and stuff. So yeah, the performance isn't great. Uh, we're not going to bother with those. Really just not worth it for now. For now, we're just going to stick to this. And it seems like most of the glitchiness is fixed. It's probably it seems like it's very frame rate dependent for whatever reason. So when, when we had a lower frame rate, it was a lot glitchier than it was now. Okay, I should get the chat open again. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna make a new window here. No, there we go. So this is this is just this. And there we go. This should be a good setup. So we got we got some cat names in here, Tabo, Jimbo. We also had if since the main character is called Tom, we also have Jerry as a suggestion for the cat, which I think is a pretty fun idea, especially since the namings would be really flipped, which is great. I like Jerry. Um, Jerry, and then he's called Kabike whenever he's in bike form. So yeah. Huh. Something unusual with my with my hair. What do you mean? It's my hair, dude. You can make a stop tire like a backlight. Yeah, that would be a good idea. We can do more of the bike, but <laughs> we haven't even finished Tom properly yet, guys. Mm. There's still so much to do for Tom. Eating a burger will disintegrate you, which then turns your particles and your particles and burgers for uh, other persons to eat. This is how burgers spread. Oh yeah, this is the backstory we guys we we made a while ago. <laughs> so dumb, but it's great. I'm gonna make that part of it. It's the burgers, burgers are a bit big part of this. Game. Oh no, I made the music way too loud. Sorry guys. There we go. That's better. Keep it quiet. Keep it classy with the music here. I do not have hair on my forehead. It's just all under my cap, man. Uh, shave it off. Shave the entire hair off. All of this. All of this. I don't think so. Mm. Hmm. Particle system, but out of his eyes, leaving a trail and turning. Yo, the cat? Cat's eyes? Oof, okay. Huh. Transforming wheels into thrusters elevate you by like 20 meters so you can access another l level of the level <laughs> but essentially controls would stay the same okay yeah yeah that's a that's a possibility to make it kind of simple yeah 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 we can try that that shouldn't that shouldn't be too hard to do what would be what would the controls be for that let's let's figure that one out first i guess so we're in the bike form you could do it only when you're in the bike form so you could do like you can do the wheelie, which is pretty useless at the moment. But what if you press space? Then it trans. If you hold space, it transforms into an air vehicle. You can hover around, and then when you let go of space, it transforms back into bike form. I think that would be a pretty good, pretty but good control scheme here. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much you, you grow, you, you know, you grow your hair. You have a cap when you grow your hair so that eventually it doesn't look shit anymore because it looks really shit for a while and, and then it looks better after a while. So, yeah, yeah. Why are we talking about my hair again? 
not really what the stream is about, is it? <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Where's the where's the transformation? So there we go. Bike transformation. So what we should do is we should copy this last keyframe. And then we need to have at least 10 frames of that. And then we need a transformation into the hover hover cat. Ooh, I like the name Hovercat. That's gonna definitely be the name for it. I'm claiming Hovercat. <laughs> Wait, where are we gonna put that? And then Hovercat as hover form. Great stuff. <laughs> Great stuff. Getting rid of the burgers? No. Who wants to get rid of the burgers? No. No. Dude, I gotta put my name in there somehow. Um, easy emit won't work with this because it's not made for RPG 0.3. It, everything changed. Uh, missed a message on Discord. You can send me some The Long Way Home characters and poses. You can print them. Ooh. That would be so cool. Yeah, Peter, let's talk about that on Discord. I would love to see some prints for the figures. I, I wanted to do that or a while ago already, but never really got around to it. So I printed a Tom's a Tom model, actually. I had a, <laughs> funnily enough, when my dad had a 3D printer, like I, I made, that was around the time when I made Tom's Adventures. So it's like, yo, let's just test it out. And, and we, printed, uh, we printed a little Tom character. Don't know if I still have a picture of it or if I even still have it. It's not here with me in the Netherlands, but if I find one, I'm going to post it on the Discord and you guys can see it if you guys are interested. Um, all right, so let's, let's let's do the hover mode. Let's try and make it really quick because I, I, I don't really know how long that's going to take. I'm, I'm hoping not too long. Let's, let's start with the pose maybe. So I'm thinking um, basically what's going to happen is that the legs are going to kind of fold up like this <laughs> which looks super weird already <laughs> oh god um let's have a look so we need to go into the modeling view i think for this nah uh, i don't really have a good view for this it's fine we're just doing this i'm gonna do this we're gonna do this there we go now we can work on that and then and okay wouldn't well hmm, that's gonna make it super complicated but i was thinking like what if the wheels kind of split up right and then they become the thrusters you know what if you know what if the what if the wheels split in half and then the underside is like the thruster side let's see how hard that would be it really depends on what we can do with this model. Um, all right. So, first of all, we need to add a loop cut in here and a loop cut in here. Then we need to make sure that the chunk, it is a slider. Okay. But, oh, that shouldn't be anything that is animated right now. It should not affect us. Um, we should do this in the base so that the chunk doesn't affect it. Because I want to be, I want to be safe here. The chunk's gotta be safe. So by pressing Y, we have successfully split this apart now. And just to be, just so we know, so we can kind of see what we're doing here, we're going to move this. We're going to move one half over by 0.4. Perfect. There we go. First wheel is split, and uh, we're going to do the same thing for the second wheel press Y, move it over 0.4, there we go, now we can work on the wheels and the chunk slider is not going to affect any of it, so that's exactly what we need. And this is what we got to do, like, you know, that's what we got to figure out how we're going to do, like, shape keys for this to make the wheels actually transform into four of these booster pads. Um, yeah, wheels should just spin by 90 degrees, I don't agree. I think they should split up and they should move up and crazy shit should happen. Uh, um, make the cat do a horizontal T-pose. Yeah, 
that could work. I mean, okay, two boosters are probably cooler than one, actually, right. Is my idea cooler? You like my idea, splitting them up? Alright, I actually like the idea as well of, like, having two boosters below the cat. But four, it would kind of be like a quadcopter, right? It would be a quad... quad captor? Cat-captor? God, the... Uh, 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 I don't know, this is, this is my best attempt at making this a pun. <laughs> it's probably not great. <laughs> I'm, I'm so punny, man. Yes. Yes. Let's do this. And then... And then, and then we're gonna, gonna do this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's like actual boosters. What? What? It's like Elon would be proud. Elon Musk would be proud of us right now. And then, how do they, they just look like this? That's it? That's it, guys. Can you see that? What? That's what the booster looks like? One wheel front, two in the back. Yo, that's gonna be hard if it's a, a triquad. No, that's gonna make it even harder to just do it. So I don't know if that's a great idea. Uh, okay, let's just let's just keep going like this. We're gonna see where this ends up. So I thought we had a glow material. We do have a glow material. I think it's this one. Yeah. No. Oh, look. Ooh, ooh that's so cool. So ooh, I like. Okay, which one which one are we going for guys? Blue or yellow? Blue or yellow guys. Hello Casper Kuiper. How are you doing? Nice to see you here again. Uh I think you were there last stream, right? Or you were there in the Yonic stream? I wonder. I wonder. I I I'm losing track. Um Cab burns into turns into a trusted bike, then change the cab material to a shiny chrome material. But why would the material change? Make it somehow realistic in its color palette. Yeah, I think the, the, the yellow is more in its color palette and we could have some really like, it's crazy like fire effect coming out of it, I guess. If we ever figure out how to do it. You shouldn't, wait, you shouldn't lose all ties to reality. Yeah, you're right. We should definitely keep some things kind of, you know, uh, relatable. Or you know what I mean. We're gonna we're gonna make sure that these things. Will... Oh look at that! Actually, when I combine them, it's like perfect. It actually adds to the, to the wheel, the the end of the thruster that you're not like seeing. So that's great. <laughs> There's like no way this is actually physically possible to happen, but um, but yeah. Oh yeah, the, you're, you're the guy from the water glass, right? Yes. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Same water glass. Man. I still have it here, but not not at my desk right now. So I'm just drinking out of my bottle. Mm. You don't think they should stick out? No. But Okay, but then it's going to be hard. I mean, we can probably make them not stick out. We can make them like fold out or something. But to do that, we got to have like the keyframe for it now. So this would be our booster um the booster frame and basically what would happen yeah this is where it gets kind of complicated guys um yeah it's not it's not the easiest thing right now especially because we didn't plan for this usually this is something that you would plan before you would do the thing then you would do the thing then you would figure out that it's a dumb idea and then you wouldn't do the thing but since we didn't do any of that now we're gonna have to just do the thing hope that it turns out great and if not then we waste a lot of time on making something dumb but you know that's part of the game development um routine i would say so that's just how game development goes and yeah <laughs> um it's just what we gotta deal with. Mm. There we go. Alright, so now we have two bones. And the reason I did this is that I'm basically going to make one of these. Well, 
One of these is going to be responsible for one side of the wheel and the other one's going to be responsible for the other side of the wheel. Makes sense, right? So, front wheel two, and this one's also back wheel two. And great. And now, in this pose, I'm there's something that bothers me with this pose a little bit. And it's that this is not aligned at all. <laughs> um, this bone has been moved. And this bone has been moved um, for whatever reason they both decided that they have to move here which I don't approve of at all so there we go we're just gonna give them a new location keyframe and this way everything should be fine cool oh and over here as well obviously so there we go Oh wait, what? Yeah, this keyframe should be exactly the same, guys. Keyframe. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Alrighty. Now for the transformation part, it's going to be tricky, but it should be doable. So, back wheel, front wheel. Well, we need two more. We need one for front wheel one. We need one for back wheel one, and then. We're basically going to take this one, we're going to assign, we're going to remove it from front wheel, we're going to assign it here. Uh, oh, no, we only need this one though. So, remove it from front wheel, assign it here, and this one, and we're going to remove it from here, and assign it here. Remove it, remove it. So now, if we select this one, we get the left side one, great. If we select... This one we get that left side one. If we select this one, we get that one. If we select this one, we get that one. Perfect. That's already it. Pretty much. So one thing we gotta be careful about, I think, when we're doing the um where is it? The spin wheels, yes. So you see this now? The the other one doesn't actually have a keyframe for rotation. Oh, oh no. So yeah, it won't rotate all halves, which isn't great. So we're going to have to copy this keyframe and paste it. Oh, no. Can we actually copy and paste those frames? Can we actually take this guy? Doesn't look like we can. All right, should be fine though. We're going to make a rotation keyframe here. It's going to be a vector one. And then over here, whoop de do. We're going to basically do a 360 degree spin. Make it a vector keyframe. Get rid of this one. Oh no. Also, it doesn't seem to have any effect on stuff yet. Huh, that didn't work out well. <laughs> yeah, when we're polishing, I think I want to get rid of the low poly style for this game and actually do like a hand-drawn cartoon style. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I agree that maybe they shouldn't stick out and stuff. Yeah, using Blender as a game engine is kind of complicated, I agree. Um, it's definitely easier to do this stuff in Unreal. Mm. But, you know, ooh, anime style? I don't know yet. Probably not. I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking I want to go back to the original Tom's Adventure style. <laughs> Yes, Peter, that's the point. <laughs> but yeah, I like this. Uh, it's, it's really funny to have, have this kind of bottle for your water bottle. But also, since there's like younger people watching, it's kind of, I don't know, it's the smartest thing for me to do. Whatever, though, who cares? <laughs> All right. So this was the wrong axis, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that that's the main problem here. This one's also not the right axis to transform. This one seems to be just right. 
So we want to go to what? Minus 360. It seems like we want to go to minus 360 here. So over here, it should be a minus 360. This should be a vector. And this keyframe should be gone. Oh, I swear to God, this guy. This guy is not an oiler, is he? Or this guy is an oiler, and that's why he's screwing with us right now. That's it, isn't it? Come on, dude. Why must you do Yes! Wait. That was the whole point, though, of the other one. What? Oh, wait. What? Oh, the beginning keyframe isn't at zero. There we go. Aha, look at that, guys. All right, all right, that works now. But for some reason, even though I thought I waited them, this Geo doesn't even seem to exist. Even though they have, like, weights. So we're going to do a thing we're going to say with um, armature def Oh, no. I'm going to say with empty group. Oh, no. Oh no. Why? Oh wait, 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 wait. If we do this. No way, it's not adding another one, is it? No. Oh wait. Is it because the location isn't the same? What's going on, new man? <sighs> Can you make an Android app using Python? I've seen somebody do it, but I don't know. I, I've never done it myself. I've never made an Android app, so yeah. Yeah. Read about Beware. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks, Peter, for, for helping. Um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. So, um, wait, oh, what is also this? Okay, there seems to be some problem. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, there seems to be some big problems here. What? What happened? Since when did the... There we go. Okay. There we go, we're back. Yeah, so I don't know. Okay, I don't know why these weights are not really doing anything. It's weird. Because we literally just basically told them that you know um this was the right bone <sighs> man this new blender though <laughs> it's still confusing me so much did i not get the naming right or something because usually it should work straight away um oh back wheel too and this one's also called front wheel two. Oh, of course, of course, guys. Why didn't you say it earlier, guys? Come on, you're better than this. If we're supposed to make a game together, you guys gotta pick up on these things. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> um, there we go. Look at that, beautiful. Now everything works fine. Man, you guys should have picked up on this way earlier. Um, right, let's get this guy's keyframes. Vector. Boom. 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 Boom, 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 boom. There we go. I wonder who gets that song. Probably everyone. I would be weird. It would be weird if no one did. Peter, educate me. I'm got mono. <laughs> nice one, seven. I <laughs> mm. <laughs> Deathbringer. Yeah, my man. Uh, I'm back to doing stuff with the Blender game engine. It's just for the stream for so far, though, because, you know, Unreal Engine is, is quite cool. It's pretty good 
good stuff. Wait, hold on. Are they getting ready for their launch now? It just looks like they are. Somebody said it's going to take two and a half hours. Hey, I uploaded yesterday a new build with parent jittering bug fixed. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Thanks, Lord Loki. Yeah, we should check it out. We should check it out very soon. Let's make that. Let's get let's get the hovering mechanic implemented, and then and then we can check out the new build and see if, if the new RPGE build fixes the glitch. That would be so cool. Then we have one last thing to worry about here to making everything very nice and polished. Awesome. Okay, uh, so this all works. I think let's let's just before we do anything else, let's just make sure that it all works. Let's test it all out. Um, oh no, the why are the wheels? Why are the wheels here? Why are the wheels here by default now? Shouldn't be, but all right. Yeah, so the wheels still spin the same way that they used to, and if we get off, then the wheels are still here. Right. What is that? Why is that happening? Also, what is happening here? Huh. Okay, there's some some things, some things here that are a bit a bit strange, guys. A bit strange is this is happening here. You know, you know what I mean. Because what happens to what happen? What's happening to? What's happening to this? Oh! Oh! Oh, right! Right, yeah, okay. You see that? Aha! Uh -huh. These guys need some keyframes. So, basically, what we need for these, what we need is, um, we need a scaling keyframe. And what does this one do? Is this one that's the scale, yeah, and then location. Uh, yeah, we I don't know if we need to do the location one, but we need to do the scaling one for sure. Scale them down to zero. Scale them down to zero. Scaling keyframe. Check. And scale them down to zero. Keyframe checkmate atheists. I don't know what that means or why I would say it like that now, but whatever. It is what it is. Selection to cursor and a location keyframe. Um, um, same thing. Same thing here. Cursor to selected. Selection to cursor and a location keyframe. And then, and then back here, back here. We got to select this selection to cursor and another location keyframe. Wow. Um, same here, there, and keyframe. Great. Transformation complete. Let's have a look. Test all of the time, guys. The rocket cat is getting done. It is. See this, guys? All right. We got the wheels. I think they're looking pretty fine. They are looking fine, and oh, that's not great. Some reason, for some reason, one of the boosters did it just not. What happened? What happened? It is using the right animation, though, isn't it? Are we using the different animation still? Action, cat idle. Action. Spin wheels. Big wheels keep on turning. <laughs> um, blah, 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 blah. Let's see here. Cat transformation. We're using the second one. Yeah, that one should do it. Bank left. Oh, does that like override stuff? What is what does it look like in the idle? Cat idle. Yeah, I don't know. Right, there's something to fix for later. Mm. 
Yeah, big problem and fixed. <laughs> Only one half of the wheels, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. That one seems to be broken. The half. Yo, are these guys already flying or are they just chilling right now? You can't really tell. <laughs> you, you don't know what they're doing. They're just chilling, probably. Alright, you know what? Before we get too caught up on things, let's keep moving along. Because unfortunately, today is going to be a bit of a short stream, I think. Um, so yeah, let's just make sure we get some stuff done and, uh, see where things go. I think it's a CG cat, that launch, man. Huh. Yeah, you think? You think they're faking the launch? I mean, it's NASA, who knows? <laughs> oh, they're launching right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a big launch for, like... Uh, SpaceX and NASA collaboration so yeah it's pretty cool that's why that's why we decided to make the um, to make the kabike into a hover hovercraft as well because we wanted to have a little nod to the SpaceX launch um, so yeah that should be pretty cool look at how many people are watching this half a million people are viewing this live insane Absolutely crazy. <laughs> I wish I had this amount of viewers. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you guys. It's a lot of fun to make this game like that. I think if we had a lot more people, then we would just never get anything done because there would just be too many suggestions of things to be doing. What is NASA saying? Kepsler's heading to the space station. What do you mean? Send Tom Cruise to space. Nice. <laughs> Please make the sword very reflective. But it's a wooden sword. Wood doesn't reflect. There's gonna be more swords in it, but this game wasn't was never made with like, or the original game was never intended to be made in RPG with nice reflections. So. Everything is like kind of just hand drawn and stuff. We'll see how that goes. Um, alrighty, so let's keep going here. Oh, oh, aha! Look at that. Look at the cat without actual cat. Oh no, still the same. Cat without cat looks like looks like somebody scammed us for our cat. Mm, so we need to work on the transformation animation. Cat transformation two, and then we got from here to we got from here to here, from twenty to thirty. We got the bike mode. It's time for bike mode, guys. It's time. It's time to make it happen. So we're going to just move things up like that. And oh lord, oh lord, what is going on here? I have no clue what this is. I mean, it's doing it partly because of the way that we've done the transformation before is with the shape keys. This might not be the best solution, but for now, whatever. This is going to have to be redone, unfortunately. A lot of this might have to be redone but at that point might as well sell the idea to some big studio and just let them work make it right let's see NASA is on hold for now Oh man, are they like starting or something? I uh, you never know. T minus um, details on the vehicle's pressure, its temperature. Uh, there's audio control. Yeah, they're doing a lot of things, just figuring everything out. I mean, you gotta, you gotta. This is like they have one shot at this. If they don't make it, you know, then then it's a it's a it's an exploded rocket, man. 
That's not really nice. And also two good astronauts have been gone. Don't want to have that happening. Especially not when it's like the first big thing. And you have 500,000 people watching you. Yeah, he said two hours to go. Oh man. And they just make it seem like it's going to happen any minute. <laughs> it's really, they're just making it seem like, you know, you just got to gotta keep watching but nothing's actually going to happen until like <laughs> until very long all right so this is a pretty good pose i'd say for the for the hover mode i think i'm pretty happy with that i wonder what else could we do for the hover mode guys any cool ideas we could maybe lift up his head like uh, that hit, hit, yeah and maybe does the tail go down what's the logical thing here What's the logical thing, guys? I don't really know. But what I do know is that we need this wheel, these wheels, to be doing this. Uh, actually, that was the wrong one. This one needs to go here. There we go, great. <laughs> and this one needs to be going here. <laughs> Look how cool this looks! <laughs> oh yes, it's perfect. Yeah, if we're ever gonna get this game on Steam, then we gotta get all of the wish lists for it. Everyone's gotta play it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh yes. It's getting more and more advanced. It's like perfect. What else do we need for this? Those guys are sitting on the rocket for two hours straight knowing there's a chance it might die in the coming hours. Must be nerve-wracking. Yeah, dude. I would <laughs> like just think about that. They said goodbye to their families. Now they're just like chilling in there and, and you know. They can't even do anything. They can just wait and hope that everything turns out well. It's pretty crazy. They have, like, no control, really, over how it's gonna go. But maybe they do, I don't know. Probably not. What What happened? Wait. I didn't make a keyframe! No, 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 no. Go back, go back. There we are. Cool, I want this. I, we need this. I'm not gonna make this again. We need this keyframe right now. There we go. Location, rotation, scale, all of them. <gasps> No way! Why are there no keyframes here? Rotation. What? Cursor to selected. Selection to cursor. It was never planned to happen like this. <laughs> now it does. Now it does happen like this. Bike and hovercraft. What else do we need, guys? I think the tail needs to have some kind of transform if we're going into hover mode. So what should happen with that one? Even wider? Should it like spin somewhere else? Like downwards or something? What do you guys reckon? You can make that small red pulsating landing legs like on airplanes. It's a bug. There's a bug so you can make you can make pulsating lights. He should be less chunky when he's in fly mode, he should be less chunky, you think? We could actually make that happen, yeah. That might be a good idea. He gets like leaner. <laughs> I don't know though, I don't know. He kind of needs the chunk for for him to for it to look, you know, uh, believable that he can actually carry Tom. I think that's a big part of this cat, is the cat, cat ability. There we go again. 
the cat's cat ability to carry Tom. You could scale it up. You can make it like a really long tail. Oh, I didn't. I gotta. Okay, if I do this stuff, I gotta really make sure to remember to place a keyframe at the end. There we go. Oh. There, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's gonna work. That's that's fine. That's good. It's good for the transformation, I'd say. Made up BG compatible with C sharp. You made that? You made it up what? Okay, how is that gonna work? That's interesting, man. If that really works well, that could be cool. I wanted to check out the logic bricks, it's, uh, the logic nodes at some point. Yeah, um, I'll have to find a proper time for that so I can look into them before the stream and then, you know, I can look into them. Um, right, so we're gonna have to use another state for this, which we're basically going to say like what we do have state, we have idle, and we have a state bike. Well, now we need to have a state, proper state, and then it's like hover, then, then we wanna, we wanna, we wanna basically, you know, what we wanna do, I, I told you guys, I told you what we wanna do, we wanna, we wanna basically, while well, I go in here, we're gonna place, we're gonna play this animation, and we're gonna play the animation from like frame 20, from, fla from fla frame 20 to frame 30. We're gonna play that animation, guys, but not on the cat character. That's not the right place to put that. So we're gonna play the cat transformation on this frame, guys, and we're gonna make it a flipper like the other ones. We're gonna leave everything as is. We're gonna make it a flipper, and it's gonna play if the state is equal to hover. Now you might be wondering. You might be wondering, you know, uh, oh, you heard already on the launch stream. It's probably ready for whatever. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of time left still, but I don't want to miss the launch. That would be sad. Um, can you make a seat belt? No, no. There's no seat belt on the bike, guys. Come on, what is this? Ch child friendly, child friendly bike. That's not what you're getting when you buy yourself a bike. You should know that. There's a countdown to the launch on S. Everyday astronaut stream. Ah, that's good to know. Yo, no smoke particles, dude. We we tried that, but they're not good for the performance, so we didn't use them. Yeah, you going going use Python or just Logic Bricks? Um, I use both. So I use some. Py I have some Python in here. I mainly use Logic Bricks right now for most of the stuff, but it would be smarter to do Python. Usually what I do is I make the base in Logic Bricks and see how far I can get with it. And then at some point I decide to like switch it over to Python and then I have to redo a bunch of stuff, but that's kind of how I just, I just got like, like to work, I guess. Cause I'm not super great with Python. I wish I was, but no, I'm not. Okay, so we need, we need a space bar, space. Huh, that's pretty fitting, I guess. Um, we need to say when we're in the bike state, we just say when we press space, then we wanna, we wanna, um, we wanna set this property state, we wanna set it to hover, like so, I think. I think that's how you set this property up properly. Oh yeah. And then when we're in here and we also wanna also wanna set the actual state. Wanna do both of these. Wanna set it to the third state. And then on state three over here, we wanna do the same thing, we wanna say and if you well if you NAND, so if you let go of the space bar, basically an inversion of that, then we're going to do 
this thing but different so we're gonna set the state to bike and we're going to set the state to this one and then hopefully the animation should sync up automatically so that should hopefully it should work this way because I don't think we have to do anything with, with Tom mm. Pikachu mach Pokemon aqua knarre what that's so wrong the sentence is so wrong <laughs> that sentence is so wrong man <laughs> Right, so if we press space, wait, what? So that part kind of worked, but what? Huh? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's not what I expected. Can you do the enemies, make them roaming around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something we should definitely do. Um. Okay, what did I do wrong here? Hover. Cat transformation. Two. And we want to do... Cat transformation. Two. Twenty. To thirty. That should be correct. Twenty to thirty. Flipper. Mm. Put down a layer on top, let's see what happens. Yeah, it's not doing it. It's in the hover state, it's in state 3. Hmm, guys, what? State equals the hover. Should be happening maybe it's deciding to like stop the other animation or something yeah because it seems to stop cat scale so i think there's got to be an or here i oh, know this is the right way it's still scaling it down Hmm, why is this so tough? So the hover stayed. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, okay. So, thing is, hover, putting it into another state entirely is just gonna kill all of our movement setup for the bike. So, instead of actually doing a third state, we're just going to get rid of this entirely nothing is going to be in the state basically when you say when you press space when I go we just want to set the property to be hover and when we don't so a NAND then we want to set the property to be bike and this should all happen in the bike state and then when the property is hover then we want to play the cat transform animation Okay, let's, tr let's try this one. Hmm, no. It went back to, st wait, hold on. Yeah, state one, state two. It went back to state one, but why? Well, why? What? What is this? You're going again? Alright, Casper Caper, thanks for dropping by. It's fun to see you here. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe the particle is just a quad without physics, and with a halo of face orientation, it gets better performance. 
Maybe. Of material that gets from bright yellow to dark gray with time. Yeah, maybe. We'll have to we'll have to experiment with that. I don't really know how much it's gonna do. Hello, in volumetric tab you can try to check volumetric blending if you want for the lights flickering at runtime. Have a good streaming session. Thank you, Yule Brenner. Let's have a look. Oh no flick no UI flickering, is that the one? Or in the volumetric tab you can check volumetric blending. Volumetrics. Maybe it's because I don't have the most up-to-date RPGE version. It might not be here yet because I think somebody fixed the flickering thingy. You can do a halo face. Yeah, that could be possible if we can do that. I want to figure out why this hovering mechanic is not working the way it should. You know, what we're going to do... Okay, you know what? We're just going to make it easier on ourselves. Instead of changing the entire state, we're just going to have a boolean that says hover. Um, we're going to set... Well, we're going to assign hover, we're going to say is true, and then we're going to say hover equals false, um, as simple as that. And then we're just going to, instead of doing this, we're going to check if hover is true, and that way, that way it shouldn't matter, like it should just do it on top of all the other logic that is already in place, it shouldn't replace anything. Um, and it doesn't do anything right now. Okay. Ha, ah, great. Great. Um, let's see that hover mechanic. Hover is false. Hover is true. Hover. Okay. So it does do something. It just doesn't do the thing that we want yet. So, if hover is true, let's move it down. Hover is true. Then what we want to do is we want to play the cat transformation. One to ten layer. What if we just put it to play? We put it on the highest layer or something. Yeah, it doesn't do it. Not a big fan of it. The animation or something. I don't know why why it's not okay so something is up with the animation that's the only explanation I have for this right now cat turns from SK oh no 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 oh no 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 what are we doing again it looks like we're actually yeah I, I got confused by the names But I don't actually see the SK one. What? What? It's kind of confusing. My logic. Cat transform two. So yeah, no, hey, what? It's using that one. This is for the banking. It's for the banking, spinning wheels, turn frame. Right. Uh, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm clearly tired. It's clearly kind of been a long day. Um, but yeah, I was playing the animation. I was playing it on the wrong object. I was trying to play the animation on the, um, well, on the, you know, the actual cat mesh and not the skeleton. Oh my god. Yep, that's what happens. So probably all of this shit, all of this stuff could have worked before, but alright, whatever. Either way. There we go. And I love how. Okay, so <laughs> actually the rotation of the of the wheels is kind of cool. It shouldn't do it, <laughs> but it's kind of weird. I like it. It's kind of funny. All right, so let's try that again then. Um, I think it's actually better if we actually have 
this happen with the state. So we say like if it's hover, hover, then we do that. Come on, J hover. And with this, we're just going to set the state to be hover. And this, we're going to set the state to be bike. Let's see if that works the same way. Um, yeah, oh no, okay. Yeah, no, let's never mind. There's some state dependencies here, apparently, that um, seem to have to do with stuff. So, state should just be, yeah, it should just be the separate variable. That's the easiest way of doing things. For now, it's just an additional state on top. No relevant for the stream, but just put some thought in thoughts in Discord. Check them out of stream. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's cool, man. Uh, I like, I like seeing some suggestions, suggestions from you guys in there. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's do something and say if. Um, so when are we doing the spin wheels thing? Cat, transform, spin wheels. That is. What is that dependent on? I think we had a script for it or something. Mm. Oh no, here, where? Spin wheels and, and property change turn frame. Okay, and then we wanna say, and, um, and property, hover false we'll make sure that when hovering is false then it can spin the wheels but otherwise it doesn't spin the wheels so now we still get our basic motorcycle controls but when we fly around they're not actually spinning anymore and we can just hover now and the sound stays the same but that's something we can always fix later <laughs> Isn't that pretty cool, guys? I, it's great how even the banking still works and all that stuff, it just works on top. Now, one thing we gotta do, of course, is when you're hovering, you gotta get up a bit higher. So, I'm not sure how we're gonna use to do that yet. <laughs> how we're gonna make it actually hover properly. So, let's see that. This way, also, the way this works now, <laughs> should even be able to keep everything else that we had before. For example, I'm going to show you, you can now do hover wheelies, oh yeah, <laughs> hover wheelies are possible, right, so how would we really effectively do hovering, mm, that's the next tricky one, so let's think about that for a second. What we could do, we could add a constant force. Uh, let's try that one. So, we're going to say if hover is true, then we're also going to just put um, an upwards force. You know, yeah, we're going to do that. And we're going to put it like, if we go into the normal view, you can see the Z axis is upwards. So, I'm going to just do... Uh, linear velocity of three or something like that for a little game do you recommend up bge or um it depends it depends on how how little the game how little the game is i guess um or what your goal is i think for some things up bge would be a good choice um like if you really just want to make something quick and you want to have the capability to just make your models easily and stuff like that um <laughs> yeah you shouldn't be able to fly around this much but like you shouldn't be able to get up so high <laughs> it's pretty cool <laughs> you can fly now <laughs> We made the we made the hover cat. 
right yeah it should be falling way faster that's i think that's a bit weird right now the gravity seems very low that was a problem with tom as well don't know what we how we fixed it for tom we'll have to look if there's an actual downward force applied or if i just changed the gravity to something ridiculous you can do diff yeah the gravity should already be at 20 meters per second which is way higher than stuff Oh my god, there's something different. Oh no, guys, what? Yeah, I shaved my beard. It happens. <laughs> it's coming back though. It's not gonna it's not gonna be gone for long probably. But yeah, huh. People notice I guess. <laughs> Let's try to chill. Okay, so yeah, I think the gravity should still be a lot higher. And maybe the velocity shouldn't be so strong upwards. Um, 10, let's, let's put that, let's have that. Let's put the gravity at something ridiculous, like 30 for now or something. Okay, so now Tom's jump is like really, really, really kind of weird. Um, oh yeah, look at that. Uh, now we're not even really taking off anymore. I mean, we're, we're technically we're hovering, right? Does this count as a hover, guys? What do you think? We do a we do a wheelie now and we drive over something. Uh, it looks a lot more natural already. Yeah, it's way better. Jump, jump. Okay, we can't make these crazy ridiculous long uh, jumps over ramps anymore. I really hope this issue gets fixed. That's the next thing we're gonna check out. Check out and see if the actual. Oh yeah, that, the gravity looks much nicer now. Even though it's like what like thir uh, it's three times as much as the gravity on Earth. So, um, yeah, sometimes with games, that's just how you got to approach things. You just got to change the values so that things look natural. Mm. And yeah, don't really concern yourself with realism all that much. 800 for the jump strength, maybe for the jump force. Let's see. Oh, that's a pretty high jump now. Okay, that's a bit too much. Uh, 600. Let's try that. Make it a little lower the gra than gravity, like 25. What do you mean? Oh, you mean the force, the upwards force or something? Okay, this is a pretty good jump for Tom. I think that feels kind of nice and responsive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, we can stick to that gravity for now, especially for like jumps from high heights or stuff like that should be pretty chill all right we've got to give the hovering a bit more force now i think it's too weak it's a bit too weak guys um yeah 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 so if we if we kind of counteract the gravity of it then we shouldn't in theory we shouldn't be able to take off yes oh yes now we're like actually kind of hovering we're gonna do a bit more Oh, oh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is still very slow. Is this because of like something in the character that we set up? Some motion stuff. Minimum, maximum linear velocity is 20. Yeah, I think this is a bit of a problem. Because if we... That makes it so that... Oh, now we can get like way too fast. Yeah, but now you can fall a lot faster as well. So that's something we gotta like kind of figure out. Oh shit. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Stuck. Mm -hmm. This is way too fast. This shouldn't be possible. <laughs> yeah. All right. We. I guess we got to do like the maximum minimum, the maximum linear velocity here. But I guess if we've set it close to the value of gravity, then it should be, 
Should be pretty fine. It's pretty fast. Pretty fast bike. Okay. Rain, rain. There we go. Uh, I wonder why we're getting so much upwards momentum here. Oh, I think I know. Okay. Right. So maybe this shouldn't be local. Maybe it should always go upwards, even though it's not really realistic doesn't really change anything, does it? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so the glitches are definitely frame rate dependent. We know that much now. Wait, so do we get some other force when we're doing a Vili? Maybe that's something that's going on. So, what is it? Shift. Then we're doing this action. We're just doing a wheelie action. We're not giving any force or anything. It's just a wheelie action. Hmm. Maybe you shouldn't even be able to do a wheelie with a hover. I don't know. Ha, you really want to see the blend fast to see how it works. That's when Python gets in limit velocity and X, Y axis, but let Z free. Yes, actually, that's a really good point. We could do that in Python. Yeah, this is really bad, the way this works here. Nat Gazer has a big point. Uh, but I'm not going to do this on the stream. I'm not going to um, transfer it to Python on the stream. That's going to be too much work, and I have to figure out how to do this first before we can actually properly do that. Um, so basically, what we can do right now is we can say, like, hover is true... Um, let's make another condition. Let's just say if we're only getting this upwards momentum if hovering is true and um, shift is not pressed. So, um, yeah, well, we got to say like, we got to do it we in a weird way. We got to do like shift, invert, like that, I think. So, then we can get then we can get the upward momentum. Ah, uh, we can we can hover, and even if we do this, we're not actually. Uh, but that's strange. You should be able to fly with this. Okay. Never mind what I just did. We don't need to do this. This is intentional behavior. We just need to limit the maximum height that this character can get away from the ground. So that's where Python comes in. That's where we have to trace towards the ground, and that's where Python actually doesn't come in. I actually thought of a way where Python doesn't have to come in. So, yes. Great. We're gonna trace for ground, and I hope none of these have ground yet as a property. So that's not good. I thought I was tracing for the ground at least somewhere and that they all had a ground property but I guess they don't so that's not good regardless we're gonna trace down on negative z-axis with a range of 10 and x-ray mode is not going to be used and then we're gonna say if this is the case and hover is equal to true what is the other thing we're doing here playing the action yeah no okay so if this is the case these two are the case then we can actually give it the upwards velocity this way we should be able to keep it in keep it in in uh on the floor but now we just got to make sure that all of these things that we can hover over have the ground property and I spelled it correctly because that is going to be big important big important exactly how you spell it so let me let me just select all of these 
all of these guys everything that's just on the ground here that you can hover over um this stuff yeah why not these guys as well and we're gonna say select this one and we're gonna say um f3 copy game property and now boom they all have the ground property on them great amazing isn't it okay first frame i'll jump on the kabike drive around for a bit oh pretty boring let's hover away hover hover away let's see how high we can get up oh, we can't get higher anymore and there we go this is the maximum height we can reach right now so with this mode you can kind of get high but you know you're staying at a at a sort of decent height we can and now we can lower this height we can raise this height and then when you go back into hover mode you kind of fall down again this is pretty cool rain there we go hovering around and there we go we're back to the ground back to the bike mode awesome <laughs> great stuff they said to me that rig skinning is going to be fixed to work with gpu and not cpu because with gpu it will get riser and physics problem with motion and animations yeah they said something that they fixed that so we're gonna uh, we're gonna check that now we're gonna save this i should probably start saving versions because yeah let's, let's save this as a new version now so i'm gonna call this the tom's adventures kabike uh or or just you know let's just call it character controller 2 and start versioning up from here it's really not the right way of naming things but you know there's no way to just teleport him 10 meters up um there would be but why would we want to do that if this is the way more realistic approach right so why would we just want to teleport him i'm gonna ask because i think this is a good way of doing things if I'm completely honest with you. Like this seems to be a perfectly fine way of hovering about getting on a higher level. It's pretty reliant. We can't make it over the walls. Maybe we could. We just gotta yes. And <laughs> now we're now we're doomed. Now we're just gonna keep falling indefinitely. Whatever we do. Look at the bottom of the of uh, the hover cat here. <laughs> Let's get up. Let's get off. Oh no! Oh no, Tom! Tom, don't fall so fast. Yeah. <laughs> what we're gonna do, just for fun. Uh, we're just gonna do, we're just gonna expand this stuff out quite a bit. There we go. Now even if you manage to leave the area or something, then there's still more play area to play around with. Ha <laughs> ha. Great, right? Can't you do a ray or something that is activating the upforce when its ground is detected? I wasn't really paying attention. Ha, <laughs> window container, we just did that. But yeah, that's exactly how we're gonna do it. Okay, so there's still one hour and 19 minutes left until the launch. Gee, why is this taking them so long? What are they still doing? All right. Well, the stream is my stream is going to be done until this launch happens, so um, that's good. <laughs> and we still need to do the actual thing that is going to relate to this uh, to the SpaceX launch there. So, yeah, I'm going to close this now. I'm going to go to the UpBGE page, and I am going to. This is the best blender integrated game engine they claim okay and we want to go to the download section i think let's have a look if they said anything anywhere if they did 
So yeah, um oh, Windows 64, RPG 3. Wait, this one's the RPG. Yeah, this one's probably which one is this? Oh wait. Zero no, 025B. Yeah, we want 03. Which one's this one? 26 5th 2020 this one's really up to date this one's from yesterday this build wow right let's get this one then um hello download download yes we're downloading the build guys we're downloading it How is Flying Cat not related to SpaceX? I don't know. It's not a rocket. But it's close. It's close. <laughs> I'm thinking we can put a rocket in there or something. I just feel like making a bit of a level. So we should do some level design, guys. We should do some level stuff now. Now that this stuff all works. What is this? Three times space. Yes, whatever. Yes. Normal text. Uh, yes. What? Make burger run to Tom. What example? What is this example? Make the burger run to Tom. What's this arrow in front of this car? What what's going on with this? What? What is going on? Are these oh the cubes oh that's cool. Yo, the burgers could be chasing you down. <laughs> that's insane. Huh. <laughs> Imagine that. Burgers just chasing you around. Crazy stuff. Um, okay. Sure. Is this yeah, yeah, sure. Approved. Oh, it's your name then, I'm all for it. Yeah, uh, that's just a comment that doesn't really make sense in here, so I'm just gonna kick it out. Um, no, just look, wait, hold on, what? This needs to be like that. What are you guys doing with the formatting? Whatever, okay, this is weird. Um, right, somebody said, somebody said something about art style. Well, the idea is, I think I want to get back to the original games, the original games art style, because I think it's quite cool. Something similar to this. Obviously, we're going to make it a bit nicer, um, but I think it looked quite nice already. Um, oh, look at those shadows. Oh, no. Oh, no, those shadows. What? Ah. Uh, uh, but... Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I think it looked quite cool. We watched this video. It's pretty decent hand-drawn art style, so you know. Um, but I'm gonna have a look at. I'm gonna have a look at your art style suggestion there, Mr. Seven Io. Also, oh, he had a sword on his side. That's why he was keeping his sword. Now we don't have that anymore. We have it on his back. What do you guys think? Is back cooler or is side cooler? Yeah, put lights in your oven. You gotta bake those lights. Mm, dialogue system. And we got, look at this, we got like the guards and stuff. Also, his, the idols are pretty chill. <laughs> I like the idol animation we did for those guys. Um, look at how many people <laughs> were watching this. It's pretty funny. Game is cancelled for now. Oh no. Oh no. I should really post about this again. Because in the wild lands. Yeah. Depends on the sword. Fair enough. We should really do some level design and try and replicate a bit of like this old Tom's Adventures level that we had. Because it was like very like open and big and like wild lands and like sands it was the idea was that everything is like kind of in a sandstorm 
And I think that would be kind of cool. And then you could have your bike and you could just bike around stuff. I think it's a really dope idea. So let's do that. Let's do that. And I know what kind of music we got to be playing, guys. Check this out. Um, wait, it's probably not going to be in here. No, it's in, it's in here. Um, ah, uh, yes, I have shaved, yeah. Um, medieval theme doesn't fit with the kabike. Dude, we can make it work. I'm sure we can make it work. You know, it's like a science fantasy game. So what if Tom is from the future or something, and he's there to impress all the girls with his kabike in in the medieval times? You know, it's pretty silly. <laughs> yeah, we want to find something that makes it like sound kind of fun to play for people that don't really know the channel and don't really know the game and stuff a bit of fantasy anything is possible yeah I agree with Peter burgers in medieval times yeah you're right it's gonna be a tricky one <laughs> I agree it's gonna be quite a tricky one but the kabike though you might fly on a Turkish ca carpet I guess but then we'd lose the whole point of the goodbye. Save the girl from the tower. Okay, pretty dope idea. Yeah, I'm gonna check out those pictures. Um, we have some style, uh, style inspirations here. Let's have a look. So this is like a Ghibli movie, I think. It's pretty cool. Ghibli is pretty cool style. So the characters are like very hand-drawn. The environment's almost like quite realistically drawn. It's cool. What's this? A Ghibli movie, I'm assuming. Oh, it's the bikes in Akira that are, like, glowing. Okay. Oh, anime look. This one's pretty cool. It's, like, very hand-drawn and that kind of nice. Oh, damn. I wonder if we could get a game looking like this, though. Like, I wonder how you'd make that happen. You can make the cat a saving buff when falling from the carpet. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Surprise is even bigger when the cat turns into a bike in medieval times. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely, it's definitely true. I mean, there's some ridiculous games out there if you think about it that have like big appeal. Like you know, if you think about Mario, it's a plumber jumping around, jumping on like weird creatures' heads to kill them. Got a question, how many faces do RPG support and what I actually want to know is how many faces should a character have for more optimized game at the end? I don't know, generally for optimization you want to keep it low, you want to keep like everything very um, low poly I guess, if you can, but I think with the RPG the way it works right now is it should support quite a bit of geometry, so yeah, um, I don't know, you'll have to experiment around with this. I am gonna, I, I was gonna make a... Wait, hold on. This music is so loud. It's very loud for you guys as well. Huh. My apologies. Should really keep it like this. Alright. Um, I was gonna- I was thinking of making a, a stress test video for like a BGE, so I wanted to do like a, um... I basically just put a scene together like a benchmark and see how well it does and then send it out to everyone for free so they can test how well the scene performs on their machines. And then we can basically get a better idea of how good the performance of a PGE really is. That would be quite nice. But I really don't have time for doing anything like that right now. Because just we could do it on the next stream or something like that, maybe. I mean, this game could also be a benchmark, who knows. Pretty hard, but... You have a cool tune shader for EV. Yeah, that would work. Dude, tune shaders work... The, the EV shaders work exactly the same in here as they would in, in EV. Because it's basically using Eevee as the render engine, right? So that should just be fine. Um, Alright, you're making an RPG optimizer. That's cool, man. That's really nice. Um, 
yeah, I think this Tom game, if we actually make it to something that's kind of cool and optimized and prop, prop, pro properly polished and stuff, then this may very well be like a really nice tech demo for a BGE and what it's capable of. Oh, well, look at that. They have so many language settings here. That's cool. That's really nice. Select with... Wait, I want write. Space for play. Right, you can... Yeah, you can change it here. So, this should be that. Same new settings. Cool. And now I can look up stuff again. And, uh, yeah, well, that's not going to happen. But I need to... I need to get rid of this little programming here. And now if I press all day, yeah, well, what is this, what is this doing now? Did I just lose my only key for playing the animation? Did. Shift spacebar. Eh, it's fine, I guess. Game, okay. I don't know why did they okay I just changed all the shortcuts also I should probably like copy the settings from previous is it too late for that now Hmm, I don't know. Real pencil shader would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that would be really cool. I have no idea how to achieve it, though. We could try it around. We could play around with it and see if we get somewhere in a stream, but... Yeah, I'm not sure if we can do it. Like, flying, you could bike an extra regular car. To mix real-world stuff with could bike? Hmm, <laughs> no, it matters. We'll see. Yeah, we'll have to see. Tom comes from an apocalyptic future and he and his bike decide to save the world by going back in time by accidentally a mutant breed. Oh, ho, ho, Nat Gears, Nat, Nat Gazer. I love that. Actually, I think that sounds really cool. So I like the idea. Yeah, like what if Tom really comes from like a future where everyone's like a post-apocalyptic ninja or like he's a post-apocalyptic ninja from the future. That's why he has a sword and he's using a sword and not a gun or something like that. And he has a bike. And he, he decides to travel back in time to save the world. But yeah, uh, from from burgers which have taken over in the future or something. But something goes wrong and the burgers come with him or something like that. And then he's in in there. But we then we can have like all these different settings. You know, we can have a level in the real world where the burgers... We had some ideas for like burger delivery battles against, you know, against other clans and stuff. So that could be happening in the real time, or like in the real world timeline where the burgers have taken over the world. And then when you get into the past and everything is kind of like in the past and stuff, then maybe the burgers aren't there immediately. So that could be something else. So we could have like two timelines, like the post-apocalyptic future and the past, which is medieval, uh, medieval like desert. Yo, medieval desert. That's pretty cool. <laughs> past is just too much <laughs> we'll have to see I mean it's always fun to have ideas like this you know the other question is how much can we actually achieve uh, and make work well if we have the system all running prop systems all running properly then the chance is a lot higher that we get stuff like this done but yeah we gotta stay realistic as well and see and actually make stuff happen there. Okay, so it seems very much like we're back. Everything seems kind of similar, so I wonder what has changed in this BGE update. Um, volumetric distribution, volumetric blending. Was that the one he was talking about? That was the one you can turn on, I think. Let's see. A super, simple, super, si super simple city level is way to go. Probably a good start for sure. Um, see, like that would be cool. Can be weird without not blowing things out of proportion. Not, not. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Oh, okay, so. What the fuck? 
Oh no, oh no, what's happening? Oh no, that's not good. So, this seems to be undo it exit is turned on. But it didn't do it. Yeah, what? Why the hell did it not undo it exit? Why is the camera so high? Oh no. Guys, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So it seems like this undo it exit button is completely bro broken. Unfortunately. Because whatever I do, my camera will be in a weird position when I leave. And everything will be just moved and will be fucked up. <laughs> oh man, the battles. If you have a theme going with Kabike and Burgers, game needs to be extreme weird. Yeah, super simple city level. Yeah, I, I agree with both of you, so I think we should definitely focus on doing the super simple city level first and getting that one as polished as possible, and then we can see how long that takes us, and if we have much time left and we think like we want to do more of this, I don't know, I, I mean, it, if it's, you know, in my opinion, we can have this have this going for a year and, you know, see where, where we are in a year from now, but it might also be, I might also have to do a some other things when I have to focus a bit more on the long way home and stuff and also school so I might not be able to do this as consistently as I'm doing right now um, but yeah there's no way I could bike burgers sandstorms can be something serious yeah yeah the idea of burger delivery on the bike is kind of cool but it's not it's not super epic yeah I mean, it's great to get the player dreaming, I agree. It's gotta be like this really weird fantasy game. That's what sells it, is that it's just crazy weird. It's like, you know, basically, it would be, um, what would be a way? Like Monty Python in a video game. I think that's the kind of, that's the kind of pitch we should be going for here. It's like, we're making Monty Python as a game. Um... Yeah, but the delivery boy makes sense that he's wearing a rat cap. I mean, who knows? Maybe in this future post-apocalyptic world, there's still, like, burger deliveries. Because that's how the burgers get spread themselves, is by delivering themselves. They're forcing everyone to deliver burgers to other people. <sighs> yeah, I agree that it has to also be immersive, in a way. So, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting balance that we have to strike here. But yeah, it seems we can't use this up BGE version. Unfortunately, there seems to be some issues with it, so I can't actually, I can't actually, like, do it, use it properly. So like, what if? Let's try. Let's see. You know, undo it. X is turned on. Let's do a new project real quick. But like, oh, there's no logic thing as well. Um. That's one thing I'm really missing here is I'm really missing like a logic window preset, especially if we if we're doing the um, yeah, especially if we're doing up if we're in RPGE, you know. That's kind of unfortunate, but okay. Let's do a uh, duplicate current one. And let's add logic editor. So we're gonna do a simple W and we're gonna do a simple motion. I'm gonna move it 0.03. And we're gonna move it over here. We're gonna exit and it goes back. Okay. So that seems to be fine, but why are we getting issues then with um with this other project. Wait, but now it's not ever keeping everything. Okay. 
Yeah, no. For the sake of just keeping going right now, we're not gonna use this version. Wait, what What was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this one actually, it's based on Blender 2.9? What? Is it the same as this one? No. This one's based on Blender 2.9? What? What is Blender 2.9? They just released Blender 2.8. What is going on? What's up with all the new Blender versions? Huh. <laughs> Okay, I like that idea. Yeah, 7AO. I like that one as well. That's pretty cool. So the plot twist is that the burgers come alive and you have to fight them. So you, at the at the start, you're just a delivery boy. You get you learn the mechanics. You know, uh, starting position is realistic. But how is the kebike going to be realistic? And then you go crazy and then weird shit starts happening. Okay, so what if Tom is actually an, a madman? What if he's actually insane? <laughs> In a weird way. And then, and then all of a sudden his cat, his cat becomes the cat bike, and he gets a sword. Yeah, okay, so this is just, this is just Tom's regular cat. And usually he can't be the cat bike. But then when you go crazy and the burgers start attacking, then you can do this. You can fly around with the cat bike. And you can like hover around with it do this crazy stuff let's get off it um all right i think i know how we can fix the wheels really quickly so yeah um where is this? So we want this, these two. We want to have the cat idle. Ah, yes. So this is where these should be um, scaled to zero. Have a scaling keyframe. There we go. And that should hopefully should already fix the thing so that the Quebec the cat Jerry we're gonna call him Jerry now yeah Jerry doesn't have the wheels anymore and he's not Quebec form great stuff Ring. Mm. yeah some of the handling of the terrain isn't great yet but we can get to that later when, when we're doing the proper polishing pass. Alrighty. I think for now, this is great. We got our we got our main traversal. Oh no. Camera. Alright. We got the traversal down. So let's... Oh boy. Oh boy. What are you... Okay. I'm, oh. I'm saying the starting position should be realistic. Then go crazy. But if you're thrown into a world that makes no sense from the start, you won't be immersed. Yeah. Cat just hang around his apartment and then he flies in the city through through the balcony of this house. Yeah, he comes to help him in the city. Yeah, where the burgers roll the mall. Yeah. You're really missing a bike sound? There is a bike sound in. I mean, it's not really prominent yet, but listen closely. Maybe it's not loud enough for you guys. Let's do this. Because it should be there. Maybe we just have to turn it up. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, actually. We have to definitely turn it up. Because Peter made the sound. But he made it very, very quiet. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to make it. We're going to make it loud, guys. Right. Wait, what? Oh yeah, we're gonna play it on my speaker. <laughs> there you go. No, that's better, right? <laughs> Way too loud now. Jesus. Alright. 
that works. There's also some really weird high pitched noise in there, so I want to get rid of that. Yeah, there's almost like a, a tiny, like a tinnitus sound. So we're going to going to throw a compressor on there. That's such a weird sound, but I love it. And we're going to do we're going to do the thing. Gotta go out for a bit, gotta go for a bit. You put a link in Google Doc for another cool tune shader. Nice, man. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I think we should definitely keep going with it. It's a really cool idea to have like a, an actual cat, but also make it sound like a motorbike. I really like it. Um, if you can get a better recording done, um, then that would be great. But I'm gonna try and get rid of the, get rid of the high pitch noise by putting in an equalizer and just, Basically getting rid of all the high frequencies. That's not, that's not. That's actually really nice. So this is what is now and before it was like Yeah, I think this is great. I like this and then we're gonna do the same thing here and put the equalizer on there the same way um, Yeah, and then we just need to pitch it it needs to get pitched with velocity. I agree um yeah, I have never I've never done that before. I don't know if I'm going to do it this stream cuz I have no idea how to, but we're going to have a look. So we're getting the velocity already with one of our functions. So might as well might as well use it to to pitch things. Um might as well do that. Cat per loop, per bike per loop. I'm looking forward to checking out the tune shader. Um, that sound that's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna do also export this as wave. So I hope these exported correctly. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. So we got the sounds, they're better now. They should be louder as well. So if we just go in here and we go to our sound effects, I mean, it's just we're going to replace them with the loop one OGG. Also, if you export sound effects, put them in OGG format because OGG, all right, I'm going to show you this, guys. This is really important. OG, check out the size of this file. It's 197 kilobytes and the wave file is 1.75 megabytes. So sound effects make a huge difference for um, file sizes with your Blender file. And if you want your game to have a small file size, then always compress your textures, make sure they're as small as possible while still looking good. And you know, um, what the fu what is going on here? What are they doing? Oh, this is footage from back. Okay, I was like confused. Never mind, guys. All right, let's have a look what the bike sounds like now. That's great. Yeah, we gotta really do like a velocity thing. I, I was gonna ask some friends who've done like car games before in Blender, so I'm gonna ask them how to how to get the sound effects to pitch up and stuff with the speed. Shouldn't be too complicated. So yeah, we're gonna probably do that next stream, hopefully. And then when you go into hover mode, we need a sound effect for the hovering mode. So yeah, there's something we can think about. Right now, there's no real benefit of using hover mode on the ground, actually. So, let's try something here. Um, maybe we should increase this to be like a little higher than gravity so we can actually float up until we are at a certain height. 
Yes! Oh, that's actually way better. It's actually quite fun to just fly around right now with the sound effect and everything. Mm. Because it works really well for the hovering, it doesn't work well for the bike itself because it's not pitching properly. But for the hovering it's really nice. It's just like you're we're a helicopter right now. Oh no, oh no, we lost the ground. Hoverboard going down. <laughs> I was gonna check, can you hover in place? You probably should be able to. Yes, you absolutely can. Look at this hoverboard mechanics. It's weird that the hover is this crazy, but. Oh yeah, because there's like no real friction. It just keeps going. There should be some there should be some way it balances itself out. There should be some like air resistance. How can we simulate that air resistance right now? Okay, so I think what we're gonna do, we're not gonna add any new features now. We're basically gonna cut off cut off adding new features and now we're gonna polish. And I think for streams in the future we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have like an hour of implementing new stuff. And then we're going to cut everything and we're going to say polish, polish, polish. So, yeah, just going to do the same thing right now. Um, rolling friction, no damping, general movement damping. Mm, that doesn't really seem to be the right one. Force field, upward spring force field inside physics, distance damping. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be anything here for it. What if we just turn off the damping? Does it make it behave differently? It seems still the same. Maybe it's a bit slower now. Oh, but yeah, now it can actually stay in place. So the damping is really the right value here. Yeah, and the falling is great. Okay, perfect. We fixed it. See, look, I'm a genius, guys. I'm a genius. Now we'll actually hover in place. Isn't this beautiful? We need some... Okay, we need some fire particles for the effects here. Right, and then we just go. We just go. We just go and... <laughs> We're back in bike mode and we can do wheelies and stuff. Great. Oh yeah, uh, fly mode please. Turn off those lights. Nice. Oh, we're actually doing a spin. Or is it just the camera and how the camera is following? Are we just standing in place? I don't know, it looks like we're actually having momentum here. I don't know. Okay, we need some meow effects for the cam uh, for for Jerry if he's just in, in cat mode. We need some nice little cute meows and stuff every now and then, you know guys. And then we need to make it so that Jerry actually like follows you when it's when he's in cat form. So let's work on that, I'd say, and then we're going to see what else we can polish and 
wrap things up, maybe do a small amount of level design, but I, I'm not gonna, I, I can't promise a lot here. All right, so we're in cat form, we're in idle stage. We are going to have, um, basically a Python script for the cat and another new one new script is kind of not the way of doing things um but what we basically want to do is we want to do like the nav mesh movements so that would be like what steering yes and then it is seek they want to see like Tom character is going to be seeked and you have no idea how to do a navigation mesh in this RPGE. I have no clue. Um, so we're going to keep trying here. Is making a nav mesh still the same as it used to be? This is so much easier in Unreal as well. Uh, I just want to make this in Unreal. Gotta remember how to do nav mesh meshes, guys. God, no, I don't remember. I'm just gonna say edit object, track to Tom character, um, up axis is the Z axis, tracking axis is the Y axis, time is going to be 20, and then we're gonna say, I don't wanna use a near sensor, but we're gonna use a near sensor for now. Near sensors are really bad to use, I think, at least in here. Um, I'm just gonna call it property Tom Boolean. Make it true, because Tom is Tom, that's for sure. So we're looking for Tom distance of 20, I'm gonna say NAND, then it moves, then it looks at Tom and it kind of just moves. How does Tom move? Tom's move forward is basically just this. Yeah, just linear motion. So, same thing goes for Cat. For Jerry, that is. Um, 0 0.05. No, 0 0.04. He can move at the exact same speed as Tom. I think that's gonna be great. So cat just stays the same. At some point, when we get far away enough, cat should turn to us. Start moving. Yes, there he goes. Oh, but it stops. All right. So this distance should be much smaller, and the reset distance should be like two, I think. How long does it go? Okay. <laughs> it's way too slow, the cat. Also, what happened to the chat? Did everyone just get tired all of a sudden? Yeah, we have a cat companion now. Look at that guy, it's amazing, right? That's how you make a cat companion. Gotta be faster though, Mr. Cat.
Oh, you're not gonna get closer, huh? Hmm. Huh. Interesting is that reset distance seems to really affect things. That should also run. I mean, the cat needs an animation. The cat should almost get ahead of Tom when you're running, but that's something we're gonna fix. All right, let's give the cat some animations, huh? Let's give it a walk cycle and a run cycle. Let's go real fast. So, quick, quick run cycle times, guys. Let's go, animation. Uh, hop into the animation window. Let's go. Let's go in here. Okay, you see this pose. This is yeah uh, um, uh, Okay, first of all, we want to get rid of all oh no, 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 we want to get rid of all the scaling We want to get rid of all the this stuff. So in our dope sheet Stonks Yeah, I, I, um, that's an issue. Well, it's gonna be just, no we can't actually do that. Ooh, but I can't delete those keyframes or it's not going to work, is it? No, wait, it, it should be. Okay, so, shape key editor, um, cat transform SDK. We wanna get, we get it here, we wanna get rid of this. There we go, normal cat. All right, time to get animating. Um, running pose, so, uh, cat. We wanna do like, we wanna look at the, uh, cat. Run cycle. Let's go. Perfect. Look at this animation reference. It's like great. It's the ideal. So I'm gonna put this on my second screen. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this view around so I have the same one. And we're gonna start with the first contact pose I think we should actually start with one where the feet are kind of like taking off so that it makes sense so we have a pose here like well <laughs> how are we gonna start I'm gonna start this we're gonna start like this basically like that bring the cat down Put these feet, put the feet here, um, put the cat together, do like this kind of pose, put the feet here, and put this here. What was that? What was that? What happened? I heard a ring sound. That means something. What was it? Mm. Subscription and Twitch. Oh. Yeah, it's the subscription sound. Huh. Interesting. So. I'm not running on Twitch right now, though. So that's weird why 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 this was terrible but okay cool cool I guess thanks for subscribing whoever just subscribed <laughs> I'm trying to do twitch and YouTube at the same time but didn't work didn't work so Alright, we gotta get back to the pose. This is a pretty good starting pose, so we're gonna set look 
location rotation scale of all bones. We're going to go into the action edit. Oh no. And we are not going to do that. We are so not going to do that. And oh, we just messed, missed the pose. We are going to go into the action editor. We're going to get rid of this idle animation. I'm going to say action anim run uh, cat run. And we're going to set the keyframes, uh, the, the range later. So we're going to put a keyframe down. And then we're going to just like make this really quick. So the next keyframe has to be like really stretched out, really stretchy boy. Um, the cat is like putting her arms up like that, is really extending her neck. And these feet are now like sliding back like so really far like that it's getting even more stretched out this is like the last pose and the tail just kind of does what like does a weird thing it does like this according to <laughs> according to this reference we're gonna turn on auto keying and apparently here we should also do something like that with the tail I don't like this one <laughs> this looks like it's just broken do like that Great stuff. And now we got to have like, I'm just going to pace them out with 10 frames every time now. But basically these are going to be up. This is going to be up like so. The tail comes down. This comes down like so. Um, it's still up like that. So we've got it more like this. Um, feet are like really stretched out and like up here. It's a big jump going on. Cat is already going down in the front a little bit and feet are still like up here and then <laughs> it's gonna look so horrible I've never animated a cat before guys so stick with me here and then it's gonna like anticipate the landing here it's coming down actually just going off the actually just going off the frames here um the reference ones you know we're just gonna do this one and do like the same thing here the feet are coming in close again or something Oh god, this music is getting so repetitive. <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere with this. Um, yeah, we now need just like... The... Transition frame, where the cat is like really compressed. get back to basically the frame we started on a little one before that but we can pretty much just copy this keyframe take it over here yeah we can use this one <laughs> now I just gotta fix the timing guys we're gonna make this turn into something good don't worry about it 
The rig turned out so great. Cats are ridiculously stretchy, so this rig is great. Yeah, it's really good that you can just, you know. You threw a fun concept together for the burger monster. Ooh. Wait, where's the fun concept for the. Oh. 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 Uh oh. <laughs> oh. The eyes. And tentacles. Yeah, it's gonna be strange. It's gonna be really weird how we're gonna fit this in with an art style like this. But alright, we're gonna keep trying. It's a good start. It's a good start. Cool. So now. <laughs> We just gotta make sure that those animations are transitioning smoother. Um, but first of all, let's try and get the timing sort of right. That's already better, because um, cats are kind of fast. Don't know if you ever noticed, but cats are pretty fast. Don't have a cat, but... Oh god, look at that stretch. Cute! <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not great. Like, this shouldn't happen so quickly. There we go. That's already a pretty good start. Still very wonky. Hmm. <clears throat> I animate really well. I just I just basically looked at the reference and copied the poses. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I literally I literally just took this and copied kind of some of the main poses there. Does the cat have a name? It's called Jerry right now. Or is it food? It's cat food. <laughs> no, we're not we're not in Asia, man. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we can even make it faster, it seems, because cat can't be fast. There we go, and now it actually doesn't look so bad anymore. Look at that. <laughs> That's basically how you do animation, guys. <laughs> Call Genghis. Genghis. Actually, this is a pretty dope running animation now. <laughs> what? What do you guys think? I should become an animator. <laughs> Alrighty. Good. Um, we're just gonna use this one. And it's like, from frame 1 to 11. 1 to 11, cool, I'm going to go back to our logic, come back in here, and we're basically just going to, when the cat does the thing, we're going to play, no, not on you, on this cat, we're going to have an action, we're going to play, cat run, 1 to 11, and it's going to be a, Loop and you should make an underwater Moelica bike, which sounds super amazing when the player first hears about. It turns out to be really disappointing in the game. Oh, <laughs> it's a catfish. <laughs> oh, it's like the underwater levels that everyone gets so excited about, and then they're just bad. Basically, that, right? Cat characters idle bike. So can we have a state for our cat character that is basically um could we have a state in here? What if we have state um basically we're gonna set state to like follow and then we're gonna get rid of these and uh we're gonna have a, a nand here uh, where we're just gonna set the state uh the property we're gonna set the property back to regular old idle uh 
uh, and now now we're just gonna do a simple thing when when the property when we're in the state follow then I don't know what these ands are being used for did I just make these and never use them for anything or what are these for seems like it I don't know what these are for <laughs> you should have it so cats sometimes do stupid stuff maybe an enemy for a cat or like a rat or something that I can chase oh yeah yeah the running animation is on ironically low top notch level <laughs> thanks yeah uh, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out I didn't expect it to go as well Alright, so this is everything. It's not gonna chase me right now, but does everything else still work even though I removed two? Oh, okay, so they did do something, it seems. Or is it just generally not getting this chunk? It's not doing the chunk mode. So this is what the cabite looks like, the cat looks like when it's not chunk. Huh. <laughs> I don't know why the chunk is not working, but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Ba -da 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 -da. We're basically when we're in the follow state, we're gonna say edit object. We're gonna say that, and we're also gonna play. We're gonna play this animation. It's gonna be like. No, it's not the animation. We're gonna play the run anim. I really need to name all those thingies. But we're going we're gonna play the run animation here. And then and I should be able to just follow us. Multi-purpose cat. Can you make the cat turn into a house, dude? <laughs> Yo Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? It's just <laughs> Catfish is such a bad pun. I, I agree, <laughs> but I love it. Um, yeah, it doesn't want to go into the, it doesn't want to go into the state cat character. It does not like going into, into the state. So near and and follow idle. Eh, let's not worry about that too much. I, I don't know. I tried setting this up in a in a way that would have been smart, I guess, but now it's not, so we're not gonna do it. Just more lines of code. Let's just do this, right? The cat follows, plays the animation. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It like doesn't, doesn't seem to. Um, um, idle, anim, loop stop, there we go, oh my god, look at this guy, this is so adorable. So I think I should put them on the same layer so that there's actually a smooth blend. Oh, but then it's doing this. Alright, the way it worked before was the best way. I'm assuming. Hmm. 
So cat idle is literally just playing when we're in the idle state. Um, it makes sense. So we would want to find a way to change the state. To really change it to another state when the cat is out of reach. Right. So let's think about this for a second here. Let's think about this. So, when we're near enough, then we want to say property this state is now idle. And when we're not near enough, which is the NAND node, then we want to set the state to be follow. There we go. Let's look at the stats. So state is idle. Now it's follow. Now it's like idle follow, idle follow, idle follow. Aha. What if this is like on tap? Follow. Follow. No. No. Maybe these have to be exactly the same distance. Idle. Follow. Yes. So now we're in follow mode. Now we're in idle mode. And when it's in follow mode, it's not playing any of the animation anymore, which is cool. So, perfect. That's exactly what we need. And then we need to say property uh, 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 state follow and and then do the motion do this play the animation oh but but okay Yeah, we can refine this more, but... Yeah, okay, so why is he not getting chunky anymore? Cat transform... It's a chunky cat, isn't it? Is this a chunky mode? It's hard to tell. But yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. There we are again. Getting off the cat. No! Why is it not playing the animation? There it is. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> cool. And we, we want to do one more thing. We want to set the, um, wait, where is it? Oh God. Um, where we're we setting it to idle, this one. We don't want to use it. You don't want to use the near function here. We want to say on like collision with Tom. Then we want to set it back to idle. So it really has to like collide with him. I think that would be funny. So the cat runs like keeps running until it runs into you. <laughs> yes, that's way better than before. 
Look at that. Look at how cute he is. Yeah, it's a bit faster than running, so like a bit faster than walking. But when you run, it doesn't keep catch up, it doesn't keep up. So it should be the same speed as when we're running. I agree with that. So sprint, we should do minus minus zero point nine. How much, how fast are we going? We're going exactly that speed. But then we gotta add the movement speed on top, which is minus 0 0.4. So 0 0.13. 0 0.13. Yes. Now it's like exactly the same speed. It's not, um, almost feels like it's catching up, but it's not. Where is it? Is he? He is slowly catching up. <laughs> yeah, he's very slowly catching up. Oh, what the fuck? What happened? Okay, why is the animation stopping? Maybe we shouldn't make him, we should make him a bit slower so that he can't really catch up. And then the other thing is I want to do, and I have two motions basically. And I have one that is like the same speed as Tom as when he's walking, 0 0.04. Um, walk speed, and we do run speed. And then we want to do a little up. Yeah, so we're going to do is like state equals follow. And then we're going to do, uh, we're going to put another keyboard sensor in here, shift. And if that's pressed, so if it's just state follow, we want to do not the run speed, we want to use the walk speed. But if it's if it's if it's pressed shift and um, and the status follow, then we want to do this one instead. Um, yeah, so now we got to do like 0 0.09 on top of that, I think, and then it should already like work, right? So. When we walk, he's like slow. He needs a different animation now for walking. But when we sprint, he adapts to the speed. That's kind of cool. See, so always keeps up with your speed. What do you guys think of that? So now he's like... Although, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't like that. I think it should always be sprinting. It's a bit weird if it doesn't do it. Um, yeah, you know what? Never mind that. We're gonna just make him always sprint. For now. This can change. Boom. Cool. We should give Tom some eyes. All S is a placeholder. Yeah, it's true. We can give Tom some eyes real quick, though. Um. Nope. <laughs> Not was that what I was going for. Um. Ah. Oh, he can have glasses. What do you guys think of sunglasses? <laughs> No, you should have eyes though. <laughs> I think eyes would be way better.
He's good eyes. Yeah, he's pretty good eyes, I guess. Um, good, we're gonna get the head bone. Where is it? Deform head. Where is the head, guys? I can't see the head. Head. A sign. There we go, now he's got eyes. It might be a little high up. No, no, no. No. That's pretty good for now. Hey, hey, look at that. It's pretty good eyes. Quebec time. Wee. Wee. If you could do shift, you should get a speed boost with the Quebec. You should go even faster. And you fly around. And then you get off it. And you just have the cat just standing there. And just sometimes not playing the running, running animation. Now it is. Just running with us. Even though it feels like it's kind of not playing the animation properly or something seems off with the animation. Wait, they cancelled the launch? Why is it cancelled? Oh no! <sighs> Bad weather, oh man, that's really unfortunate. Oh, that's so sad. Man, yeah, I guess that's I, the smartest decision they can make, but... Oh no, all this preparation and stuff, all the hype, and now they just have to cancel it. That's so sad. That's so sad, guys. Can we get an F in the chat? <laughs> mm. So what we're going to do is if we press shift here, up, 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 then... Yes, uh, shift. Oh my god, this is so getting out of hand. We're going to... Oh, this would be so easy in Unreal with Blueprint. No! Yeah, I don't want to know how much that costs them as well, just cancel it. Wow. I mean, probably it doesn't, might not even cost them that much. You know, because they didn't really do anything yet, they can just launch it another day, but... Still, all the man hours and stuff, so... A lot of people just have been working hard to get to that moment. And for that not to happen right now must be pretty upsetting. Um... Right, so the bike actually works like this. I'm just gonna put point two on top. Yeah, it's not fast enough. The people that were watching, what a waste of time. Yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Shift. Oh, now it's going like upwards, so that's not great. What's the blueprints? The blueprints is, uh, that's how you, the visual scripting language in Unreal. It's really, really cool. It's a good language. 
don't think we can add a boost without having it like go up weirdly so we're not bother we're not gonna bother with the boost for for going up right now doesn't matter all right what are we gonna do level design wise guys what are we gonna do so we said okay so we had the ideas right that we're gonna do a city we got half an hour left of the stream so we can try making something city-esque um, if we I wanted to hold on I wanted to check out the the tune shader or something so we got some works where did Peter actually post his tune shader I don't know where the tune shader is guys um, blocking out pizza restaurant location that's a good idea we can always make a really rough block out and then some of you guys who actually know how to 3d model which I don't um, you can then make a you can then make a proper proper place for it how's that sound why is everything off the grids ever so slightly that's kind of that kind of annoys my annoys me a bit ah there we go fixed it that kind of ticks off my OCD not that I haven't I have OCD luckily I guess oh. there we are now all the other ones are offset ah whatever it's whatever we were not exact with this Oh, in the Google Doc, Peter's link, check it out. That's Peter's link. Right. Let's have a look. I've seen how you've been making for a lot the logic with the birds and along with home. Yeah, just just incredible. Huh. Thanks, man. Yeah, the birds turned out really well. Um, it was really, like, they work even better now. I changed them after the stream, so I made them even better. Make burger run to Tom example. Yes. Um, get rid of yes. All right make burger run to Tom we're basically doing the same thing with the cat so we could do that with uh, other thing yes what do you think of this shader IP you could look at yeah 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 let's have a look uh, let's have a look at the shader then music sounds like free novels yeah it does ooh that looks cool that looks really cool what multiple light sources well if we could have something like this for the game imagine if it could look like this and then you'd have the kabike and stuff yo that would be cool that would be nice that would be cool. Yeah, let's get let's if somebody can make a shader like this and then we make everything like nice and smoothly shaded, not flat shaded like it is now. We're just gonna have to basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the object, we're gonna say like object, and we're gonna say like where is it? Um 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 shade smooth. It actually works well for the cat. Why are we doing glow poly with the cat again? Uh, remind me why are we why are we doing low poly? Shade smooth. Oh yeah, and this guy he's supposed with Tom I put like the auto smooth in. But we don't need that one either. Not necessarily it still looks kind of weird now, but why are we doing low poly? <laughs> this is actually way cooler <laughs> than the low poly star. So I was lazy with the character. Yeah, probably right. That's very true. It's very accurate. Look at how nice this looks already with smooth shading. Who would have thought? Hover bike mode. Let's go. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm having too much fun just biking around. We need to make a level. We need to make like a small city chunk. Um, Bigger wheels, big wheels keep on turning. 
his eyes are little they're supposed to be small I guess I mean maybe what what people are suggesting is that we're making like an anime style game right so we should probably make give him like anime eyes right like something like this and then make them like really big <laughs> and this looks horrible <laughs> I hate it I hate it so much oh no we're gonna make them even bigger guys let's go I'm gonna make him like this I'm gonna make this go out like that or something oh yes and then we're gonna we're gonna put in a highlight like oh no 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 not like this I'm gonna put in a cube a little cube like that and we're gonna see if we have a white material we don't have one yet but we have a white material here and we're gonna put one we're gonna, we're gonna scale this down a lot we're gonna scale it like this we're gonna put it like right yeah well it doesn't work when it's mirrored really like <laughs> a fake highlight but that doesn't work ah uh, no 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 that's a no no this is horrible just copy along with home the, copy the long way home head on his neck. No! No, why the long way home head? What can we do with his eyes? How can we make it look like sort of... Sort of good. Appealing, I guess. I prefer Tom when he didn't have eyes. Because if I go realistic with him, that's going to look horrible as well. No, 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 get out of here. Um, maybe, you know what? He doesn't have eyes, guys. He doesn't have eyes. He's just, he just got, he has eyebrows. That's his defining feature. He's got eyebrows. He got those, he's got those thick eyebrows, guys. And, um, yeah, basically, his eyebrows are so thick that... That's his, that that's his defining feature. Let someone else handle his face, please. Yeah, probably a good idea. Could you share the meshes? Would love to play around with them and maybe do something cool with them for higher polycon. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can share the meshes. Um, that could be quite cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them on my Discord. Um, at the end of the stream after the stream is over. Give him a beard and see what that looks like. Uh, this is actually kind of nice. Yo, okay, Tom has a beard now. Share Tom's mesh. Okay, Tom's mesh will be shared. I was thinking of actually making it a public mesh anyways and using it for stuff. It's a weird beard. It's not the greatest beard. <laughs> Maybe it's not a good beard. Oh, are you joining my Discord? Wow! See, see what I did there. <laughs> uh, no, uh, thanks, man. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be cool. It's a cool Discord. It's the Nifty Llama Games Discord, so it's like it's a shared Discord right now. But I'm thinking I'm probably gonna split it up at some point. I don't know yet. What? What is this? <laughs> What is this beard? Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Okay, we're just we're just sticking to eyebrows for now. Don't split up. Yeah, I don't really want to split up, but the thing is, uh, some people are there for Nifty Llama games, some people are there for my CG Sky stuff. So we'll have to really find a way. I, I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking of using it as cross promotion as well. What we're probably going to be doing is, um, oh no, what we're probably going to do is we're going to basically have a role or something that you can select uh, that is like CG Sky or something, and then I can just ping that role. Everyone who has that gets a notification whenever I'm streaming or doing something with CG Sky account, and then everyone who doesn't want to see that stuff, they they just don't get a ping. So that way I can ping people without actually pinging at everyone every single time I'm like doing something like announcing my stream or something like that. So yeah. 
We'll see about that. Cool, cool, cool. Walk through the door. This door is not working, but the other one works. Ah, oh, the cat! The cat closed the door on me. <laughs> Look at this cat! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. One thing. One thing I'm wondering now. I really want to see if we can just, you know, put this guy with everything that is included. Right? So we got all the objects selected, don't we? Wireframe. So we got this guy selected. We got this selected. We got the camera. And we got the two lights. That's the entire... That's the entire bike, right? So if we put that into a into the cat collection, that should be fine. And now if we like, what happens if we put a collection instance of the cat in here, for example? It looks like it's pretty much doing the same thing. How many of these can we have? Let's <laughs> see if these all work. Look at the laser eye. What? <laughs> what? They're just pretty much they're copying. They're exactly cloning the other. What? That's so strange. Are they also gonna copy? What? <laughs> also share a sword in the same file. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a file with the animations already there as well so you guys can make animations and adjust the animations if you want, whatever you guys wanna do. What the f this is kind of weird. We have an army of clones now. What? I am so confused. This is not what I expected. This is not how I expected this to work. Yeah, they don't even have collision or something. <laughs> they're just pretty much... They're just exact copies, it seems. So what if we just put this one at the center and this one at the center, then we're just gonna have three cats on top of each other and just horrible performance. Yeah, we can't even notice it, but they're all there. That's so weird. I was just hoping we could just copy the cat around and have more of those cats, you know? But maybe we can do that. Since they are a part of a collection now. Wait, what? Right. Can I hide the entire collection and then just spawn one in? Wait. Always. Oh, no, no, no. Right, okay. So this one is pretty much, this one's the master parent here. Cat character. I don't know how we would go about having multiple of these cats. Unfortunately, this is something that is not very clear with our BGE at the moment. But, alright. Whatever. We're still, we're procrastinating the level design here. The real thing that matters Cursor to the center, world origin. All right, let's put a cube. We're going to move set cube over here and we're going to make it, we're gonna give it some nice measurements. So, measurements very important if we're gonna do this the right way. We're going to make sure that this item has a dimension of, what's an average house? Like 20 meters, 20 meters, 40 meters skyscraper time so this is a skyscraper now 
you feel me? I'm just gonna block out like a city. Um, let me see if I have a basic, uh, if I have a basic city texture or something that we can just slap on here, because that would be dope. Um, shader editor. Let's get an input. Let's get a texture. Where are we going? Texture? No, no, no. Texture. Image texture. Put that on top. Open up. Go to my um, library. Textures. Um. Yeah, I wonder if I have any. I wonder if I have any good textures. There's a building add-on. But does it make low poly building with just texture? Four K bricks. These are way too big. I'm not gonna use four K textures. Are we stupid? I wish I had all the. Uh, I, I wish I had all the old models. Mm. Yeah, no. We're not gonna throw a texture on it right now. Whatever. It's just a cube. It block out. So, either way, I'm gonna have one of you. We're gonna have a second one of you. And a uh, snapping effect move increment. We want the absolute grit. No. I don't know how I can change the grit snapping to be less snappy, but. Okay, we wanna figure out basically how wide do we want roads to be. How tall do we want buildings to be? We're gonna establish. We gotta establish what is called metrics. So let's make this a road. Um, this boy is basically going to be like what four meters wide. Now what is a road? Two to five meters wide. I get no. Let's go with six. Six for the road. Three meters per side. That looks. Fi that sounds fine. And then we have um, two meters for walkway so we have eight meters in total and just because let's make it let's make it nine um yeah and then well eight is probably better okay and then this, this road shouldn't be this tall it should be like what like uh 0.5 meters high or something oh no move it down Move it down, do this. And now we do some like loop cuts. Cut the cut. And we do medium point. We scale it out. So we want it like three meters. So this is a meter each, I think, right? Hold on. Yeah, so this cube is one meter by a meter, so this is a meter each. So we wanted this basically like that. And then yeah, this, the, this, the sidewalk is a bit too thin now, so we're going to scale it out so that we're actually like like this. This is our width. We're now 10 meters in width. That's good for a street. And then we're going to move everything over by a chunk. There we go. Now this is our street. It's not perfectly aligned, but that's because this guy is not perfectly aligned. Ha! Huh. There we go. Okay. And then... Shift... No. I don't know how you do the extrude where, you know, it doesn't... doesn't screw up with the faces. Because it always does this here. Either way. You can get rid of this face entirely. Now you can get rid of this face entirely as well make some of this road geo like that then we're just gonna extrude this down and we're gonna get rid of this face and I'm gonna rid of why is there an edge here that what 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 uh, I'm gonna mesh what clean up uh, merge by distance cool Basically, just put it below the ground. 
Mm. Ah, what? Blender, what are you doing to me? Just faces, please. Thank you. There we go. There's our road. Um, that way we have a walkway and if we move it up, we also have a road, but it's like slightly below the ground, so it shouldn't bother us unless we actually want to use it like this. I'm going to move it like that. What did you say? <sighs> you just found a city plan of the Vatican. Why the Vatican? Let's do it more happy music. I agree. We need something good. Um, do, 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 do. What is this one? This one's pretty chill. I like this one. And it looks pretty much the perfect layout because it's very small. Oh, it's very small. That's a great idea, actually. Okay, send it. S oh, did you send it already? You did. Aha. Oh, it's a lot of park. Yo, let's play. Let's have the gameplay in the Vatican. That's actually kind of cool. We can have it. We can have a similar thing to the Vatican, basically. Okay, so we're gonna open. I'm gonna. I'm gonna basically use this as a reference for now, then, because it's a cool idea. I like it. We're gonna make some closed-off area which resembles kind of the Vatican. We're gonna have a big center building, which in this in the Vatican would be the Pet Peter's Dome, but we're gonna we're probably gonna put like a maybe we're gonna put like a SpaceX SpaceX launch launch station in there from the rocket launch that they just didn't do now. That'd be pretty pretty fun, wouldn't it? Um, I'm just wa I just want to try out what these metrics are gonna be like, so we're going to just use some of these roads. And the reason I made this with this stuff in mind is so that we can exactly do this now. Basically just have these things in place. There you go. Basically we have a street. Um, yeah, now we just need to, um, need to make a centerpiece as well. So, well, no. I'm gonna copy this one. I'm gonna copy it over here. Cut it in half. Get rid of this entire area. Um, cut it in half again. Scale everything up. Well, no, we're gonna. There we go. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Layout is so perfect for a mini open world. I agree. It is really good. Yeah. It's really cool. Thanks for sending. And there we go. We basically have it. Just need to make those faces closed. There we have our cross section piece. And this is basically... This is the way that you want to make, um, that's the way you want to make levels, or pieces for a level, so you want to make it modular like this. There we go. Get rid of these. Now we can just go in here, take these corners and bevel them, bevel them out nicely. And we want there to be not offset, not that depth, no. There we go, this is the equalized one, percent. Apply scale, yeah. Oh yeah, fair point, we should also do that. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the hint. There we go. Now we got the piece. 
Boom. Perfect. Yeah, and what we might want to do, just because right now we're really not using these the street parts, we're just going to move them down. And since this is all instanced now, it's like literally just this. And if I get rid of this now, you can see that it basically just works. It just works. Cool. So let's try it. Maybe copy it over one more time. I don't know. Should be fine. Ah, oh, no. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know what I'm talking about. There we go. We have more sections now. Cool. So that's just for scale. Oh, cat is following. Okay, so you can see like these buildings look kind of big, but also when you're on the sidewalk, it's not that it's not that big. You know, the sidewalk isn't that huge. I think that's it's a pretty small sidewalk actually, considered all things considered. Street size seems okay-ish, I'd say. The cat can actually walk up, which is quite nice. Get up on the pavement. Tom can't read. Ah, sometimes he does. Let's try driving around. Oh, making these corners is really hard. But I also feel like the street size is not fitting. I think it's too small. I think it's too small. Okay. See, that's exactly why we're doing this thing. So I can figure out exactly these problems. So now I can literally just, you know, go in here. Say we're going to move every one of these out by two units. And then we're going to literally just... Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. We could move them all. No. If we move them over here, it should be fine. Cat animation was stuck for a bit, but we, this should be fixed, fixable soon. Um, so what if we just scale it out? Like so, we're gonna end up with a weird value. So we might wa might not want to do that. Instead, we might just want to like grab st stuff like this, grab stuff like that, and then. Since we did think the sidewalk is a little small, it should be better like this. And then for this guy, no, we should do the same thing. Move this stuff over, move this stuff down, move it over here, move this over here. And now we have a bit of an interesting problem because we did those streets will be too narrow. Gosh, a set reminder about fell asleep right before the stream starts. Oh man, Amper, no. Well, you're here now, so that's great. That's always cool. The streets will be too narrow, you think? They will be too narrow. They probably might be too narrow. Um, that's something we'll have to play around with. So if we do 1.5. It's not a perfect fit, though. But it'll do, it's just for placeholder right now, for testing anyways, right? So... 1.5, oh, but we also want to do like, not on the Z, mm. one 1.5, there we go. Same thing over here. Ah. Scale shift Z 1.5. Ah! I feel like that's the end of the stream coming up. Oh no. It is though. It is the end. 
Let's have one more look at what we did. It should be set up now. Let's check it out. Let's see. Okay, so the size is already this is already a lot better. You know, it feels a lot more natural. The walkways still like what do you guys think? For a sidewalk, it still feels kind of kind of small. Street itself is also pretty especially you gotta consider there's gonna be two lanes, right? This is like a a single a single lane thing. Why is the cat not following me anymore? Hello cat. There we go. Yeah. Oh, what? Some of the stuff just... There we go. Now, one thing that with the cat we also need to have something that the camera actually follows the cat and you can't just continue looking around. Um, but this is already a better size. This is much nicer to like drive through. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, you can actually drift around the corners. It feels kind of nice. What if you hover through this? That could work. Street should be like 1.7 times in width. Or maybe just twice. Like twice of what it is right now? We can do that. So, that would be insane. Uh, wait, let's try it. Hey, Gulur Glomhelen or something. I don't know. Gelen. Hey, uh, you're a bit late. You just have a look at beginning. If you want to change the sound of the bike with speed, you can play with the speed parameter of the sound actuator. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can actually adjust the sound actuator speed parameter in the in Python. Uh, I haven't really done that yet, as as that, in my opinion, is more of like a polishing thing. But I definitely want to do that at some point, so that we can actually, you know, have that. Um, because that would be pretty cool. Absolutely agree. Okay, we're going to just in case, just to have a better idea, we're going to put some road lines in here, and then this shows us how wide our road is. So we're really, yeah, I think we're going to do it like this, and we're going to make the sidewalk even one more bigger as well, and then we have a road like this. And now it's like a really thick road, but I think that's kind of kind of what this is supposed to look like. And then we can do this. We can have a block here. And we can have a house here, another house here. And this one goes in the center here. House goes here. That way, we kind of have more of um of an idea yeah and now this is gonna get tough i shouldn't really i, I really shouldn't have beveled these that would have made things so much easier if they were just squares right now i'm not gonna bother with these edges right now but okay it's pretty good let's try it Take the whole thing, scale it up by two. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna scale it up because then there's just gonna complicate things, I think. I think this way yeah, I think you're right. This way this way it actually feels nice now. So I think size wise the sidewalk is good. Changing this changing the street is good. Um this feels like it's actually a city now. Everything else before that was way too small. And I think that's nice. I think that's pretty cool. So, scale shift Z by 1.3, yeah, whatever, scale shift Z by 1.3, what a rhyme, scale shift Z by 1.3, 
sketching Z up no sketching Z by 1.3 I think it's nani time what do you mean nani nani time oh no uh, 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 the, uh, the, the, it should be to this height and then, no it should be to this height and I want to select all the bottom ones we scale them by zero and then this is all fixed cool we're gonna save this and what we're going to do is basically just take these uh, wait hold on let me think so what we need if we just have no I mean we could okay I'm just thinking how I can make this now tileable, right? So that we can just copy and paste it all over the place uh, and make it work. Where's, how does this tile, guys? I'm confused. I'm confused. Um, I think, I think this could almost, wait, this could be a collection or something. City tile. If we add a, collection instance city tile yeah and then we put it here yeah then we get like some bigger buildings I guess but that's cool that would be fine and then we're gonna do another collection I think you can have similar the same objects in this in some multiple collections so we're gonna, we're gonna no ah stop playing animation I'm these keyboard shortcuts this is going to be like city tile big and then basically going to move the center to the world origin and we're going to move the city tile to the world origin and then we're going to hide this entire thing and then we're going to just here say city tile big boom and now we can just go wherever we want we can just place a city get rid of the walls here because the world just got a lot bigger um, yeah get rid of this wall here as well cool and now we can just start placing around the city and we can just copy this oh no what happened here oh this is what okay oh oh that's not great So these need to move down, don't they? There we go. So this is the most boring city ever right now. But at least this is going to give us a bit of a experimental playground. Just try things out and see how everything works. Look at that. <laughs> Oh no. Right. Because everything is set up to tile. There we go. We made a city, guys. Ha. <laughs> we made a city. Just, just uh, since I am a perfectionist, who would have thought, um, I'm going to. Oh no. Yes. Okay, so what we need to do. So we need to put we need to put the origins of these to the to the bottom. So now they all have the origin at the bottom. Oh, and then they all move up. Fair enough. I guess. But yeah, we're gonna do this. No, just move down, please. And then we're gonna just scale some of these down a bit scale one up scale one like a little thinner although no that won't really work i mean it can okay we can make one thinner and we can make one like this uh a little more scale down like that and then all we have to do is make sure that this these guys 
extend inside far enough there we go beautiful <laughs> beautiful stuff now we're just gonna hide the initial city block where Tom could fly with the flat <laughs> walkable clouds yeah not anymore we're, we're, we're done with this for today but there we go look at that it's pretty neat isn't it and just just to make sure that you can't ever really leave um, this place we're just gonna copy this and scale it up by 10 this is going to be huge but that's the whole point uh, well maybe not by 10 I want to see what do we need to do scale it by four maybe yes that looks like it's exactly the one so scale shift z four there we go and now we can just copy this guy around as well and this way you can just continuously make the world bigger and bigger and uh shouldn't get any problems with it you know what would be really cool though if you could use, if there were like spots where you can just, you know, uh, go higher and stuff. Oh, and now we should also do what we should do is like, we should just rotate a few of these. You know, because they tile, so we can just do like a 90 degree on one of them. Negative 90. Uh, and that way we're breaking up the variety, we're giving it even more variety. Um... And then it's already this is like a city now <laughs> cool let's have a look let's let's play around a bit and then this is the end this grid is great for figuring out scale yeah it is really helpful this is really one meter by a meter you always want to like make sure you stick to a grid oh look at that look at how big this feels we can make like look at this is already quite cool I think we can run anywhere oh well we can't what is there still what's what's wrong here now is there like an invisible collision here um i'm confused now yeah what oh okay so it seems like we're running into this even though it's on a different layer or well it's not on a different layer but how okay why are these still colliding with stuff even though they're not in the actual game Yeah, it shouldn't be the layout for the city level. No, it would be pretty boring if it was. This is just really to figure out scale and see if we can play around with the size and stuff. The layout of the city has to be much more in-depth and, like, varied and stuff. Um, yeah, so why are these colliding? This is really weird. We can't really move them down. I mean, I guess we could. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to move them down minus 100. And then we're gonna have to remove these and we're gonna select all of these and move them up a hundred. This is the hackiest way of changing this, but hopefully it should work. Now put some trees in the middle and we have a central park. Agreed, yeah. I wish I had some trees real quick, but either way. Either way, yes, so now we're wait, these don't have collision? What is this? Ugh Ugh. Okay, maybe we have to do like, oh, 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 oh. Maybe instead of moving them to collection, we have to do like a group, create new collection. City thingies. City, city tileable or something. I don't know, because they don't have groups anymore, I don't really know how it works. Add to collection. And then, cool. 
instancing display instance or render in render instance of makes instance of visible in the viewport makes visible interest yes cool so now but 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 how do I how do I give this guy because you could have group instances and they would have collisions usually I think so let's see, I, I turn on collisions there, even though it's set to no collisions, so this is the default one. No, this doesn't have any collision! It doesn't have to do with the origin, I think, with the scale, no. These guys just don't have any collision. Because they're technically empties. I swear this worked before though, um, in the old BGE version, so... Yeah, uh, that's, un that's unfortunate. We could have just copied it by hand, but now it's like too late for that. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna pretend that it has collision. It's gonna be fine. <coughs> Let's try. Room. Mm, yes. Oh, I can already see this, and you gotta do like your pizza contracts and stuff. Now the bike actually feels kind of slow, but that's pretty fine. Oh, yo, it feels so much faster for some reason when you do a wheelie, even though it doesn't actually make you faster at all. Maybe it does. No, I don't think it does. I don't think it should. Oh, yeah, the glitch is back. It's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Uh, let's do a bit of a fly through. This way it would be quite dope. The bike is a bit too big in general. Yeah, probably. Th I agree. I agree. <laughs> but that's fine for now. We're gonna fix that at some point. Cool though. It's pretty nice. Yeah, the city looks in proportion with Tom. That's good. Yeah, but the bike doesn't really. It's a huge bike. Yeah, it wouldn't be this big. Yeah, I think that would be the biggest thing that we have to change next time. Make the bike actually fit with the scale. Make everything match with the scale and stuff. Because I think the way we model Tom, I think he's pretty much to scale of regular human. Well, he's a bit small, but that's okay. He's just a small dude. Okay, that's it. That's it. I don't think there's anything else. I can't think of anything else right now that we wanted to do. Cool. Yeah, and then you have you come here and here's like the burger stand. You get to pick up your burgers, you hop on your bike, and then you drive off to deliver the burgers. That's gonna be a great game. The gameplay is gonna be so fabulous. Ha ha ha. Share Tom before going to bed. Yeah, I'll share him in my Discord, guys. Tom will be shared today. Because I've also got something coming soon where um, we're going to need Tom. We're going to make something fun with him. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Let's see. how. What does it actually look like if I really drive far away? Mm, how far can we go? Oh, okay. So the map isn't that huge that yet. You see, we can still, we can still easily make it to the edge of the map. But everything seems... Go seems to work to work really well, so that's great. We really need to get those sound effects better because I'm already like, yeah, I'm already uh, always. I'm I'm feeling like I want to just make those sound effects myself. I gotta work on how the bike also handles terrain like this because that's not perfect. <laughs> that's not great. But hey. You made a temporary texture with the skyscrapers. This isn't the dock. Oh, okay. Man, you guys don't want me to stop, do you? Here, where is it? Let's have a look. 
This is the texture, skyscraper texture. We should all we should all brainstorm on the art style. Yeah, yeah. We should. Oh, oh, that looks good. That actually looks really good. Wet. That's great. Who made? Dude, Nat Gaze, That's really cool, man. I think it's. I think it looks good. Um, you know, what? I'm just gonna put in like a new folder. Text textures. You made a JPEG. That's great. That's gonna be good for file size. Because we want to make sure all the textures and all the sounds... Okay, it's 1.6 megs. We got to make this lower file size in the future, but for now it's fine. Um, especially if it's a texture like this, it's going to be repeated. But um, Okay, let's open it. Textures, skyscraper, there we are. And we want to go into the shader editor. We want to put in an image, uh, a texture, image texture. Boom, uh, put in the skyscraper one, <laughs> and um, yeah, hold on, what material are they actually using? So these are using the skyscraper material now, and now we just got to go into the UV editor, we got to figure out how we're going to map this stuff, so for, for the rooftop we're just simply going to do this. Um, for the sides We're gonna do the same thing over everywhere. We're gonna scale it up like so and we Need to rotate it Rotate it by minus 90 degrees now. We need to scale it like this. There we go Now it's a bit more in proportion as to what you had in mind here. Right, something like this. Looks pretty good. Nice, well done. Well done. These look great now. Okay, this is pretty cool. Works automatically everywhere. So we want to make sure, since the ground also seems to have the same material, we just want to make sure that they're all kind of in the gray area here. And if we do that, then the ground should also be gray completely throughout, which is awesome. Um, so we're gonna unwrap this one again and make it completely gray. There we are. Perfect. And now we're just gonna, just for fun, shader editor play around with this a little bit Tom's cat venture <laughs> I like that name does this have a name yet I mean, it's called Tom's Tom's adventure but I like Tom's cat venture that's pretty cool it's a pretty creative one I'd say um, so what we're gonna do real quick we're gonna put it in color ramp we're gonna ramp up everything so we get something like this, I think. Something like that. And then we're gonna put this into the roughness. But I think, hold on, before we do, we gotta invert these. There we are. And now, we put this into the base color. Yeah, you can see the windows are reflective now. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff, isn't it? And just so I can have some extra control, we're gonna get in a um, input RGB. We're gonna get in a color mix RGB. We're going to multiply it with another color so we can give them some like coloring, I guess. If we wanted to do that, make them a little bit reddish or something, darker, I don't know. Uh, the windows, I don't know if they should be white or not. I think they should be like, met oh, metallic, hold on. There we go. Now there we go. That's, that's pretty much, that's what we need. <laughs> that's how you make a skyscraper. 
and then we can basically we can say like this is not perfectly like okay this is perfectly white but this is maybe not perfectly black there we are <laughs> look how look how cool this texture looks now right there's a color palette texture and uv color that could work as well but i like this texture it's it's it works really well it's, it's well done so there we are that's our that's our um that's our houses now maybe we want to make them slightly bluish that looks kind of cool they're also very reflective Something like this, maybe. I don't know. We need to play around with this more, but there's a lot of things to do here. So, yeah, we're going to keep tweaking this and more stuff is going to happen. More people are going to submit things. It's going to be awesome. And, yeah, um, I don't really know why the ambient occlusion isn't really showing up. I'm really confused because I, I am expecting to see a lot of nice AO. But I'm not seeing any, so I'm thinking that the distance just isn't that good, and it looks like it isn't. Yes, so we're gonna set the ambient occlusion to be like a value of like this, and there we go. Now the AO actually does something. It also gets makes these weird streaks, but that's okay. Huh. Alrighty. And now the houses aren't as reflective anymore as they maybe should be, so the windows. Let's get them back to being really reflective. There we go. That's nice. Cool, cool. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Oh shit. <laughs> Should have crashed right there. Oh look at those reflections. Look at those reflections of the light in the windows here yeah all the glitches and stuff are gonna get fixed hopefully oh no where's the cat no what happened to cat there we go oh so cute so adorable yeah there we go guys that's it that's it for today that was the stream. Thank you for joining. It was a lot of fun. It was a really good stream. I think we're making some great progress. This is really coming along. Um, yeah. Thanks for thanks for joining this time. I'll see you next week. Again, hopefully we're gonna be back on Thursday. Maybe I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna let you guys know before. I'm probably gonna announce the streams like a day before, as you as I did like to this time, because then you guys can have enough time to kind of you know, figure out if you can join or not. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. It was really fun. I hope you had fun as well. I hope you learned something with this. And I will see you next week. Join the Discord server if you want to get access to the, to the model for Tom and some of the other cool stuff. So yeah, I'll see you on the Discord server, guys. Link is in the description. And yeah, CG Sky says bye.